Welcome, everybody. Um, today's presentation, of course, brought to you by Theotrade is Inflation Nation. And we're going to discuss two strategies that you're going to use to fight back. And, you know, uh, the interesting thing is today, I'm not going to, you know, dwell too much on inflation and what inflation is, because I think that that's, it's, uh, it's neither here nor there. We're actually going to strategize, though, specifically around the idea of inflation and where f inflation is really bubbling up inside of the marketplace. And it's, it's, again, it's not what you think. We can show chart after chart after chart. In fact, I'll, I'll do that in a moment here of, uh, of where inflation is, is obviously bubbling up. But we're going to look a little bit off the beaten path at some really specific areas to discuss inflation. With that, uh, before I get officially going here, risk disclosure, we're not financial advisors nor a broker dealer. Listen, I, uh, I spent 15 years in the brokerage world. I, uh, I'll discuss that here momentarily. I'm no longer in the brokerage world. I actually ran education for some of the major broker dealers, which again, I'll discuss here uh, momentarily. Next, copyright disclaimer. This is ours. This is not yours. By the way, this is the first time I've actually had a slide deck up. And uh, we, now, we now belong to Christiansted in the U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands. People always ask us about the, uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands. It is an absolute trader haven. And it's actually what drove me initially to go there. I've had a really close friend and one of the more prolific uh, traders in this entire industry invite me down. He's been inviting me down for the past... Almost 15 years ago, I met him in, uh, I think, 2003. You know, you got to come down. You got to check out the Virgin Islands. So COVID hit. We went down to the Virgin Islands. He said, that's it. This is home. So kids, we're going to raise the kids, you know, 100 yards off the beach. So it's, it's definitely a different environment. And uh, I'm going to actually head back there in a few weeks for hurricane season. Come on. You got to experience that, right? Listen, this is why you're here today. Um, one thing I am I'm adamant about is that you're able to take something away today, something tangible. And I'll always say this though, <laughs> by the end of the, the webcast, you wanna walk away with something that you can use, use now, use tomorrow, use forever. And here, we're actually gonna talk about where edge lies in today's marketplace. More importantly though, strategy or strategies in this case that are actually gonna turn edge into potential profit. We're actually gonna find some strategies for uh, mass returns with minimal risk. That's actually one of the big components of, uh, of today's uh, session to help offset some of the inflation. Uh, we're also gonna discuss how you can actually reduce risk of a portfolio, regardless if you're long or short, uh, determine how strategies can actually help you in creating a high return to risk ratio, meaning very nominal amounts of risk, very, very large returns. And uh, it says even in the most extreme of bullish or bearish markets, extreme is actually the operative word there. We want extreme markets, and you'll learn that here in a moment. What are the right steps to take, whether you're trading and investing? By the way, I don't, uh, I don't want to uh, differentiate here uh, too much. Um, trading, investing, there's definitely a fine line between those two. This is actually going to cross over that line. So whether you're a trader, whether you're an investor, I mean, I'm not asking anybody has to sit in front of the computer all day long. For the next 90 minutes, though, sit back and uh, we're actually going to go through a lot. Next in the docket, we have a auto expected move indicator that we're going to provide to you free of charge today. Now, the reason we do this is number one, I discuss the expected move indicator constantly. And it's it's one of the most prolific indicators, at least we've ever put together. It's something we use here at Theotrade. And it's actually used industry-wide, but we use it here at Theotrade just incessantly. Okay, And when I say it's used industry-wide, industry expected move is something that's been used since the 1970s. But we just simply scripted it. We scripted it and provided it on every uh, optionable underlying. And it is the single most okay, intensive um, script ever compiled. It's, it's $500 value. We give it to you at the end of the webcast. And the reason we do that is because we talk about it constantly throughout the course of this webcast. And as I said, I want you to be able to walk away with something definitive, something you can use. Um, stay with me right until the end of the webcast and I'll actually give you a link uh, directly to, of course, the auto expected move. And, um, without going into too much detail right now, because this, this is a screenshot of the auto expected move. And there's so many, so many different ways you can use this. We're actually going to talk about it today. In fact, it's built into this presentation. 
So this indicator that you're seeing on the screen now, and um, here I also like to uh, elaborate upon, as I said, I use a live trading application a lot. And I like to actually, you can see I've got auto expected moves right here. And I'm gonna refer to it a couple of times throughout the course of today, all right? So much more dynamic, again, doing this when the market's open. I, you know, I, I made a decision um, so almost back about like seven, eight years ago that I wasn't going to do this anymore if I wouldn't have fun with it. And I, I got to tell you, I don't like doing presentations at night. I like doing it during the day. I like doing it when the market's open. I hope that works for all of you. And it's, it's, it's okay. Today, we're not moving that much. A few housekeeping items. Housekeeping. This is skill set. Pay attention because I'm going to move really fast. Shut the door, turn off Skype chat. Listen, if you guys are brand new, if you're brand new and you've never tuned into a webcast that we've done here at TheoTrade. Anybody here brand new, never tuned into a webcast? You could say me, 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 me. It's okay, I'm watching chat. Um, by the way, if you are, <laughs> if you're new here and you see me looking over here or looking down here, I use six monitors. You don't ever have to trade with six monitors. But when I run a webcast like this, I have three trading screens. That's all I ever use for trading. I'm not a big chart guy, okay? I have three trading screens and three to run the broadcast because one of them, which is right here, is just to be able to see what you're saying over here. I'm actually, I am looking at the markets directly in front of me. I'm actually looking at the uh, slide decks and I can actually talk to other individuals in the lower screens. It's kind of nice. I strongly suggest six monitors if you get the uh, the chance. One big one doesn't do it for me. <laughs> with uh, with that, pay attention. We're going to move at a pretty good you know clip. Get rid of Get rid of Facebook altogether. You know, kick the kids out, the grandkids out. The dog, dog can always stay. The dog can stay. You took the time to be here, so uh, really focus on being here because we're gonna jump into this. This is a little bit about me. You know, a lot of people have a very definitive, you know, biography. Uh, I just give you some background. Um, one of the first things that I like to say is I watched order flow for 15 years, and that is in large part of why I'm here. And that, that phrase doesn't always make sense to a lot of people who are like, oh, I don't even know what order flow is. Okay. I worked and was an executive and ran an entire division of a brokerage firm. The brokerage firm was originally called Thinkorswim. So the whole story kind of goes like this. I grew up around traders. When I say I grew up around traders, I had an uncle that was a market maker. They owned over 500 seats and exchanges worldwide. The firm was called O'Connor and Associates. Anyone that's from Chicago has, has heard of this firm. I mean, it was really one of the more prolific trading firms in the 70s and 80s. It was sold to the Swiss bank in 92. And again, I'm, I'm as a kid at the time, but when you grow up around it, it kind of has an impression on you. So three weeks out of college, I got an offer just to go clerk for a summer. Um, I didn't do a degree in finance. I didn't study anything about trading. I, I, uh, I went to go clerk for a summer and I was, I was gonna go to med school. I have a degree in molecular genetics and you want fries with that. Um, it, and then I started trading. And <laughs> shortly after I started trading in Chicago, uh, about 18 months, two years after, I met uh, a couple of guys on the floor um, specifically that were in the OEX pit and I went to work for them. And it was actually a firm called Thinkorswim. And I was lucky number employee 13 over there. And I had a pretty good run there from 2001 to roughly 2015. What I did for both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade, I ran their entire education group. Thinkorswim actually built the education division at uh, TD Ameritrade. When uh, TD Ameritrade acquired Thinkorswim, uh, I was part of the acquisition. It had a five-year lockup deal. Everybody always asks why I ever left uh, TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim because I was contracted for from 2010 to 2015. I exited in 2015. It was a nice exit. It was a good time. I mean, I was an executive when we took the company public in 2007. That's, a, I guess, a little bit about the background, but we built the education division of Thinkorswim. And I say we because I had a very significant size team uh, under me. And we went on, of course, after uh, 2015 to then launch uh, Theotrade in 2016. So um, people always ask me what's watching order flow. When you ran the education division of a major brokerage firm, and the brokerage firm that, again, was the largest in terms of option order flow, um, just a brief story, because this is actually important. In, in the early 2000s, we were the first firm to actually ask the question, okay, what do our clients even do? 
other than just trade? What do the clients do? So we went actually at it and we started researching specific trades. And we didn't, we didn't look at like trades in terms of like, hey, what's Joe doing in his account? We actually were looking at what everybody was doing in a wider spectrum. How many people sold iron condors? Did you do covered calls? Did you just buy stock? What was the success rate of people that just traded stock versus options versus futures contracts? People, we could tell you everything. I mean, everything. We have actual analytics that were built into the back end of the platform that would tell us what strategies are working, what's not. That's where Theotrade comes from. Theotrade comes from all of the information. I mean, it's what we learned over years in the brokerage business and literally watching billions and others' mistakes and what works for retail over the long term. Like, you know, I don't bring up the market making side of the business too much because this is what works for retail traders. By the way, if you ever need to get a hold of me after today, right here, support at theotrade.com. We use a, a generalized inbox, just support at theotrade, put Don in the uh, subject and it'll go right to me. So uh, I just want everybody to know they can get a hold of me. We still do some uh, some TV appearances. I actually did this yesterday. Um, this is not from yesterday. This is the last time I was in Chicago. Literally the last time I was in Chicago. It's crazy. It's been since 2019. I haven't been back to Chicago uh, since. Nevertheless, this is a TD Ameritrade TV. I just did TD TV yesterday. This is actually a uh, a, a hit on uh, CNBC. It's myself pitted against, of course, uh, Kevin O'Leary. Listen, chaos. You know, I love that terminology relating to the marketplace because that's all you have in like the last approximately what we're going on almost like 17 months of chaos in the marketplace. And I always say this though, and then all that chaos, just never forget one aspect. Volatility is a very good thing. You know, this, um, this, this is your opportunity and it's really, it's your time to shine. Now, of course, today, the topic of conversation is inflationary pressures. And what I'm not going to badger you with, and you know, because people are going to argue inflation, not inflation. Okay. Um, here's random length lumber. And I'm, I'm just going to throw up a few charts. Okay. And it's, I'm not here to argue inflation or, or not, you know, again, random length lumber. I thought that was a kind of an interesting one to bring up. It's not something br anybody brings up on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, RB, which is actually gasoline futures. Okay. It's gasoline futures. And you know we can even bring up like year to date on a percentage basis if that if that works for you guys like that's gasoline it's up you know 57 percent year to date basis you know let me bring up uh, random length lumber again which is only up you know 77 percent year to date basis it's year to date year to date okay what else do you guys want to bring up I mean we can go all day long you can bring up uh, ZC ZC is actually corn. Corn's only up 35 percent I say only one another fun one nobody ever looks at this heating oil. Okay, unless of course you live out in like uh, you know the Midwest, heating oil over there, um, you know some of the some of the commodity products. I just I like to display this. Uh, check that out, soybean. Okay, soybean through the roof, sixty two percent. I thought that was a good place to start, but I'm going to tell you right now, that's it. Like that's the conversation on inflation. It doesn't matter whether you think we're inflation, stagflation. Okay. This is going to be a huge opportunity because no matter the steps the Fed takes, okay, there's no way out without volatility. And it's, it's one of the things that I want to stress. Ain't no way out. You could argue this till you're blue in the face. There's no way out without volatility. But if they raise interest rates, we think there's not going to be volatility. If they don't raise interest rates, then what? then undoubtedly we're actually going to go possibly into hyperinflation and the door, it's transitory. I mean, it just goes on and on. There is no way out without volatility. The only problem is you don't know which way it's coming. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now, this monkey, by the way, I'm referencing myself. This monkey knows volatility trades and you should too. So we're going to have a little discussion about volatility as we get into this. And uh, by the way, I love that one. I think it's a monkey with a, uh, that's a, it's a Microsoft surface. It would never give monkey an iPad. Okay, they only give them a Microsoft Surface. It says something. Volatility equals risk. Let's talk a little bit about volatility in general, because as I said, there's a no way out scenario right now where we're going to be experiencing, if you will, for the forward future. When I say forward future, you know, 18 months, two years, we're going into an extraordinarily volatile time. And again, it doesn't matter what you think about the Fed. It doesn't matter necessarily what you think about inflation. Okay, There are some definitive aspects here that need to be addressed. And one of those is just simply 
it's a no way out scenario without actually passing through extraordinary volatility, whether they raise rates, whether they taper the bonds back, whether they do absolutely nothing and we go into hyperinflation and assets go just exploding higher, it's gonna be wild. You gotta understand this though from a volatility perspective. Volatility equals risk, but the type of volatility that we are discussing right now, this is actually gonna be option markets, option markets. Now, I'm not here to drill you down and you know, talk about options. How many people here have though traded some options? Anybody who's, uh, who's traded some options? Just a, a Y for yes and N for no, you could just chat in. A lot of people in here. So there's one thing I'm gonna tell you right now and this is one I really, honestly, I want this to resonate with you. You ready? If you're going to be in this business, I don't care whether you trade stocks. I do not care whether you trade options. I don't care whether you trade futures. Listen, I am an equal opportunity exploiter of the markets, right? The one thing I will tell you, though, you have to understand implied volatility. It, it, if in stock, in, like if you're going to trade stock, you still have to understand volatility because it's, well, it's going to tell you where the market is poised to move. Option markets are putting a price tag on risk. You know, people look at an option, they go, why is it trading for a buck? Okay, because it's putting a price tag on risk. Why? Because what it's really doing, what option markets really do is they handicap how far, okay, how far an underlying can move within a given period of time. Right, so option markets and option markets pricing is all determined by the market participants. You know, when we talk about like volatility, what is volatility? It's supply and demand. In the end, I go, what price is options? And whenever I say that, like, what price is options? Somebody inevitably pops into the chat room and they turn around and they go, the Black Scholes model does. But that's actually, no, what do I say? Like, what price is options? Supply and demand. It's supply and demand dynamic. Okay, higher risk, higher volatility. You know, if, ever, if everybody in the world goes, I need options, the option prices go through the roof, okay? And there's actually a really crazy dynamic right now in the marketplace we'll talk about. So what has risk volatility been lately in the markets? I mean, you can probably say like, again, I know some people look on the, uh, the surface. When I say the surface, they look at something called the VIX. Let's go to the VIX over the last three years. You get a feeling, just look at the VIX for the last three years. Let's close up this left side bar because there's nothing to see in this market today. Look at the last like 18 months versus like the previous, you know, 18 months. And again, this is exactly a three-year chart. So it kind of splits it down the middle. You can say we've been in a higher, warmer volatility climate, right? No doubt about it. So it's more volatility. But what can implied volatility do for you? You know, what has implied volatility done for me lately? This is a, a slide. It's an age-old slide. I've been using this one for, for literally for decades. Just a brief explanation of volatility. For those of you that are new, you ready? Okay, listen, you can do this. Don't panic on me here, but we're gonna talk about 68% of the time. That's what is that? It's one standard deviation. Listen, all this is, is a bell-shaped curve, right? It's just a bell-shaped curve. Everything you do in your life can kind of fall into one of these curves. But if you fit into this, you're just fitting into the meat of the curve, right? And I always use the same analogy, like, you know, there's really, really good drivers and there's really, really bad drivers, but most of us actually fit into the meat of the curve, correct? Okay, but if everybody's a really, really bad driver, then we actually skew the chain. The point I wanna make is you go and you look at a stock or like you look at the VIX, okay? What is the VIX? The VIX is an implied volatility index. I know that, I can read, but what is the VIX? The VIX is actually justifying, okay, stock price movement or index price movement in the entire S&P. Let's actually use another example. Before we go to the VIX, let's say that this stock is one called Microsoft. Anybody ever heard of it? Doesn't matter where it is. Let's say it's a $100 stock. Should be a $100 stock. Should be a $5 stock. <laughs> Bill Gates has to sell all that stock. That's going to be a sad day. He's not going to sell the stock. He's just going to give it away. Anyway, <laughs> come on. You got to have fun with that one. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, Microsoft, let's say, is trading at 100, and it has a volatility of 20%. What that really means, okay, is the stock is capable of moving up 20% or down 20%. So it can move to 120 or down to 80, and it's going to stay in that range 68% of the time. Now, 20% in this case, because it's perfectly a $100 stock, equates exactly to plus or minus 20 bucks, okay? I want to do that again. 
just so you guys understand it. This is Microsoft. The most important thing in here is what we call plus or minus 20 bucks. What is the plus or minus 20 bucks? That is the equivalency of what we term, ready? We're gonna call this EM. What does EM stand for? It stands for expected move, okay? But this expected move right now is good, let's say for one year. So over the next year, it's only supposed to go up 20 bucks or down 20 bucks. Okay, that's it. That's what volatility does. Volatility, okay, can equate to what? Stock price movement, all right? Volatility can equate to stock price movement. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. You could look at the stock and tomorrow the stock could be trading at five bucks. What happened? Okay, I don't know. Bill Gates gets a divorce and has to sell all of his stock. All right. In the divorce proceedings, they whack all of the stock. It goes down to five dollars. Anyway, it's this is the highest probability, obviously, though, of us staying within a given range. Okay. Why is that important? Well, we're going to show you here momentarily. First and foremost, if you can figure out how far a stock can move, and this is again critically important, if you can figure out how far a stock can move for one year, could you divide that out? for instance, by 12 and figure out how far it can move on a monthly basis. And if you could figure out on a monthly basis, make this even more finite, okay? If you figure out on a monthly basis, could we whittle that down and figure out how far we can move for a week or even one day? You guys see where I'm going with this? Once you have the volatility, you can tell me how far I'm gonna move for a year. You could divide that out and figure out how far I'm gonna move for a month, for a week, for a day. This is actually what we term expected move. How many people actually use expected move? So for those of you if, you, if you speak a little bit of geek, you probably understand some of this already. Speaking geek means you've traded options. If you haven't, and this is new to you, you're, well, I'm gonna show you right now. So this is expected moves, and this is a $100 stock. It shows like the 30-day expected move, the 60-day expected move, the 90-day you know, expected move. As we go out in time, obviously, given more time, there's more chance for movement. And this is, it's just a distribution curve, right? So more time is more movement, okay? How many people are brand new and never really saw this before? Just, you have to type in yes, it's okay. Because now we're actually gonna get into, as they said, everything that we do here today needs to be tangible, needs to be realistic, needs to be like stuff that you can use literally right now. All right, we okay? Good, it's caffeine, you need more. More caffeine. <laughs> That's when somebody's usually like, uh, I think he has a, I think he has a, he has a problem. He has a caffeine problem. How does this relate to the marketplace? Hmm? Seriously, like, how does this relate to the market? Because you look at this, you're like, oh, then, you know, you, you again, you want fries with that? I'll tell you how it relates. My, what a large volatility you have, Tesla. I took this screenshot yesterday. Yesterday, I took a screenshot and I threw it in here, and I wanted you to see Tesla. And the reason I wanted you to see Tesla is I wanted you to see. Okay, what we term, look on the right side of the screen, it's expected move. Now, this happens to be the thinkorswim trading application. You'll find that exact same type of expected move here on Tastyworks. Any trading application that's worth its weight will have expected move on it. Okay, speaking of thinkorswim, right? I help build the calculations specifically on here. So with this, what can you actually do with it? Let's actually pull up a live trading application. Let's, let's get a little bit more serious about this. Let's go in here and let's actually view Tesla, okay? That's a Tesla chart. Okay, who cares? Let's go over here to the trade cap. I wanna know in the next three days, I wanna know in the next three days what Tesla can do. And uh, the very simple answer is, look at that. Right there, plus or minus roughly $31. So there's a $31 move being implied over there. How does that help you? That's what we're here to actually determine. That's what we're here to determine because if you look at that $30 move, okay, um, this is something like immediate. You need to be under like standing. Number one, you could use this for risk management. You realize, you realize there is a 68% chance that we're going to go down 30 bucks or up 30 bucks in the next three days. You know, people use stop orders. That's why I say like, you know, you came here today to learn something, you're gonna learn something. People use stop orders. They'll use like a $10 stop, meaning it's $10 out of the money. You're dead on Tesla. Normal volatility fluctuations undoubtedly going to stop you out. You can use it for stop orders. You could use it for risk management. You could use it to say like, hey, I think we're gonna move more than the uh, expected move. There's so much going on. 
But then we actually bring in auto expected moves. This is a weekly expected move. You can visually see it. Watch this. <clears throat> this is why I told you, we're gonna give you guys an indicator. Check this out, you ready? Auto expected moves. Dun, da, da, da. What happened to Tesla last week? Decimated, smashed its expected move by double, almost a three deviation move. Only way you can tell that on the surface <clears throat> is to actually have the expected move calculations plotted right on the chart. Okay, why is that important? Because, you know, people define like overbought, oversold. How about statistically, quantitatively? <clears throat> you know, people always ask me, they say, you're a quant. I am a quant. I don't look at a lot of charts. But a quant would sit here and say like, hey, we're two deviations, okay, from the expected move. So this one, this is almost a three deviation move outside the norm, okay? It's invaluable information, absolutely invaluable information. Here's like, you know, almost a three deviation move to the upside, pulls back and, it, we just continue on. And I'm not here to give you directional bias. We're not even going to use the expected move for that. We got a lot more going on today. Okay. Because everybody looks at this and go, mm, that's interesting. And it sounds like a pretty good party. But the whole question is, how do you use this? By the way, did you guys want to bring up, is everybody okay so far? I know we're a little new here. Okay. We're new, but um, if you want, we can bring up some other underlines. We can talk about it. We can talk about this, people. <laughs> we can talk about this. I want to bring up a couple other underlines. I want to make sure everybody's you know, up to speed and understands the expected move, right? Because understanding implied volatility is a step in the right direction. By the way, dead silence. I'm like, does everybody understand this? Like three people come in there, they go, yes. <laughs> you know, it's like 700 people on, three of them are like, yes. Okay. Oh, somebody said, bring up Microsoft. All right. Okay, bring up Microsoft. So one of the first things in Microsoft, you can actually see it broke under its expected move, bounce back in. But uh, the bottom line here is Microsoft, the next 30 days can move about $15. That's in the next 30 days. The coolest thing is there's an option for three days, for 10 days, for 17 days. You give me a time frame, I can tell you how far the stock can move within given, that given period of time. And I'll tell you what, somebody always asks me, they always ask me the question, how accurate is that? You have all the data right in front of you. In fact, inside of this script, inside of the script, you can actually go back into the script and, uh, and actually calculate how accurate it is. It'll actually give you percentage accuracies. That's what these are right here, okay? It'll literally say, how many times do we stay inside the expected move? And you can even throw huge data sets of like years in here and it'll calculate immediately the accuracy of this. Yeah, it's good stuff. So understanding this is a step in the right direction. Bottom line, how does this stuff translate into profits? Because that is what, you know, it's, it's kind of cool to talk about like volatility, maybe show something that you don't necessarily use on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? But you have to take knowledge and turn it into trading. Like, you know, it's, it's great to be, I, I used to say this all the time uh, coming out of school, it's great to be book smart. It's another thing to be what I call functional. <laughs> functional is you got to turn what you just learned and translate into profits, okay? And you know, there's a lot of people in the world that are absolutely brilliant. And you know what? I hear that term all the time in business. They go, that Elon Musk is brilliant. You know, this guy is brilliant. I don't give a crap whether he's brilliant. Can he execute upon it? That's all that matters. Can you execute upon it? By the way, well, that was not a dig, by the way, at Elon Musk, because that's one of the few people in this world that is brilliant, okay? Totally out of his mind, but can he, he can at least execute upon it. <laughs> Maybe, we'll, we'll see in a few years, but I'm gonna bring you into a concept, okay? And in this trading concept, less than 1% of market participants are where it even exists. Uh, and yet even, even fewer, like very few people, even if they've seen this concept, they don't trade it. They, they can't turn concept into reality. So, I'm going to try to make this a little bit um, a, a little bit easier for you. So know your volatility. There's two types of volatility, okay? There's implied volatility and historic volatility. And I, uh, without like, you know, reading the, uh, reading the definitions here, the differential, and again, I hate to compare these two, but I think it's the easiest way to venture down the strategy that we're going to go into. And to say this is, so there's two types of volatility. Historical volatility is the annualized standard deviation of past stock price movement, yada, 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 okay. 
historical volatility is kind of telling us real price action, like how is the stock moving? But the problem with historical volatility, historical volatility, like, and I'll give you an example. In Tesla, in Tesla, it's going ludicrous speed in looking through a rearview mirror, meaning that historical volatility is all past tense. You know, you're driving 100 miles an hour home looking through the rear view mirror. That's historical volatility. Implied volatility, okay, is forward risk. And when forward risk basically means, it means expected move. So when you think about implied volatility, you think of like, it's the option, it's the volatility that justifies an options, yada, yada, forget all that crap. It doesn't matter. I'll tell you exactly what implied volatility is, okay, versus historical volatility. Looking, okay, looking at this, this is a chart. In fact, you know what, let's go to, let's go to the SPX. Let's go to the SPX, the mother of all products. I like saying that, that one does it for me, okay? You know what the SPX is and all these little lines, by the way, these are hand drawn. Don is crazy and spends a long time. I love speaking of myself in the, uh, in the third person. Don's getting angry. Anyway, all of this price action back here is what we call history. That's historical volatility. See these lines? Those lines are not yet like the market hasn't caught up to them. That's because that's done off implied volatility. Implied volatility, okay, is the expected move. The expected move is forward risk, okay? So you got to know, right, that there is a differentiation between the market, what the market's actually doing, and what the market's pricing it's going to be doing, right? So how do you find edge? What if the markets are capable of moving big, really big? but options did a poor job of pricing those larger moves. And the, by the way, that's absolutely unequivocally spot on in certain products, spot on in certain products, okay? What I'm saying is markets are pretty good at handicapping risk, but what if we could go out and actually find stocks, okay? Underlying index products, that are actually moving more than what the option market expected. There could be edge in them, their hills. All right. Um, that's one of the, that's one of the things you got to focus on over here is, is focusing on the idea that, you know, the market says we can move X amount. Like let's say the market says we can move $10. Instead of moving $10 over the next three months, we move $30. Okay. There is a humongous amount of edge in that particular marketplace. Enter the expected moves. So the auto expected move can visually display a stock or ETF smashing through what the options market expected. In other words, you can see a stock moving beyond what option markets has priced movement to be. Here's one example. This is the IWM. Okay, and you know what? I'm just, I'm using the IWM and I'm gonna show you something really interesting about this. Okay, if you looked at a general chart on IWM, here's just a regular chart on IWM. And I'm gonna zoom in to the, some of the most recent times. Like, look at this. It couldn't be any more like humdrum, right? Like it's a pretty chill marketplace. Just up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's totally channel driven, okay? But the, let's take the exact same chart. Let's apply auto expected moves. Let me zoom back in. I apologize for that. I'm getting, uh, I'm zoomed crazy. The, um, the reality is this, okay? Smash the expected move right there. Smash the expected move, shattered it here, okay? There's a bunch of just hideous breaches of expected move. And the reason I wanted to bring this to your attention is every time I circle something like this, those are really huge potential uh, profitability moves. You know, you look at something like Tesla and you think that Tesla is also like completely crazy. Let me just zoom in, all right? Because Tesla does have wild moves, but you want to know something interesting about Tesla? Like, look, it's actually pricing in, like there's one right there, but look how well, now oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. But if you compared the number of wild moves in Tesla to IWM, IWM will shatter it. Meaning that IWM does, IWM, by the way, again, is the Russell, it's the ETF, but IWM does more of the unexpected. And that's, that's one of the things that the auto expected move immediately alerts you to. Um, and again, you know, somebody was asking if I look at like, you know, 20 day or, or 10 day historical volatility, actually, ironically, you don't have to look at the historical volatility at all. 
because all that really matters without going into too much detail, all that really matters is the number of times we actually breach the expected move. So I'm much more akin to, to looking at uh, implied volatility. So here's outlier moves, okay? This is what I call kind of volatility limbo. One of the things today we're gonna to talk about is, is actually looking for outliers. You know what's funny about outliers? By the way, outliers can also be called, let, let's get through some of the terminology. You guys ever heard of like the term black swan? Okay, some people have actually heard of like a black swan. Um, I lived in Australia for a year and a half. So there are black swans, like actual black swans all over the place, which is, uh, I always laugh about that. Cause you're like, oh, it's the black swan. Like I've never seen one of those before, but they're out there, right? But in Australia, there's nothing but black swans. So black swans, what they call three or five sigma moves. It's just anything that is an outlier, okay? And, you know, some people actually consider themselves outliers, you know, meaning like, you know, stuff that happens out here, way out here. We're going to discuss that a little bit. There are some implied volatility opportunities. Listen, one of the things that I stated early on today, and, you know, again, we could make a case for this. It would take me hours just to make a case for this, but it's, it's easy. But this is the time to be able to make money. It's not necessarily when the marketplace is on a straight incline. You realize that this marketplace, it's, it's now, it's shifted itself. We might be at or near all-time highs, but if, if you're in this marketplace right now, okay, which many of you absolutely are in this marketplace, how many people would agree with this statement? The last two months ain't exactly a cakewalk. The last two months, you're starting to get a feel that there is most definitively a change of environment, okay? And that change is one of the reasons we're actually doing this, this particular session today. That change, everybody is talking about it. Everybody feels it. And you're not exactly sure what it is, okay? And it's, uh, I love what somebody just said. It's a meat grinder. That's a pretty good explanation. I promise you one thing from, from I've been in the marketplace for 22 years, but for 15 years, I got to watch client order flow. One of the things I promise you, okay, it ain't going to be easy from this point forward. Okay. Easy is over. Easy is over. Okay. Now, now you're actually going to have to learn something. When I say easy is over, I know people don't want to hear that, but you know, there's not going to be any more game stops. Okay. There's not going to be any more, you know, 70, 80% returns because now we're all looking at the same thing and saying like, this is getting insane. Think about it. You look at the marketplace and you even look at your portfolio, you go, this is getting insane. Okay. You're starting to look at stocks like Tesla, which was, you know, the hottest thing pretty much since sliced bread last year. And you look, that's down 20%, you know, on the year. Okay. You know, people that were the hottest in the entire business, you know, the, uh, the Kathy Woods of the world, come on, you didn't think I was going to let that one go. They're getting crushed, decimated right now. You know, you look at some of these funds out here. When I say this ain't going to be easy. Okay. You know, this is just one of our funds down 15% year to date basis. It ain't easy anymore. Okay. Now, as I said, and I just stressed to you this, and I'm not trying to scare you, you need to learn something, okay? There are very few opportunities, though. There's going to be, it's presenting itself really very prevalently. Again, there's only one way the market moves forward, and that is with volatility. It's unquestionably, like, we're not just going to go back into a 10 VIX and just nap, okay, after this. We are going into a much more volatile period of time. This could be years, it could be a decade at least, and those that had substantial profits, and again, one other thing you learn in this business, sooner or later, that market becomes real, okay, and starts to pull more people in and suck their profits out, suck their profits out, and then the dip buying dies, and then you actually go in there and you buy something, and then you're actually hanging on by a thread just trying to get back to break even from where you originally started, even though you were up 100% at one point. Listen, I saw accounts for 15 years, I can get it, I know how it works, but what we're going to witness following Corona, stimulus, inflation, and it's, this is going to be chaos unfolding, okay? And it's not like chaos in terminology, you know, where you're like, the world is falling apart. I'm not here to tell you that crap. I'm just going to tell you right now, either inflation is coming, okay, and it's going to be big, or they got to jam something like interest rates right down your throat, which means they're going to raise interest rates, which means that marketplace is going to get tagged. You think tech is going to like, you know, the rise of, an, uh, you know, of interest rates, somebody like Tesla, you know what kind of debt loads they have? You got to get ready for this now. Listen, my, what a large skew you have. 
few retail traders look at or have any idea what SKU even is, what SKU amounts to. In effect, SKU currently says, do not dare buy out of the money puts, even if you think the market's going to move down. Now, I just jumped from a, a little conversation about inflation. Then I taught, you know, painted a little conversation about, you know, turmoil in the future. You do realize the marketplace right now, it's not like, how do I say this eloquently without coming off like too harsh? Market is not stupid. Okay. It sees this as clear as can be. SKU is already pricing this in. Now, if you've never heard of SKU, how many people here have actually truly heard of SKU? Okay. Truly heard of SKU. All right. So interesting. Not too many people though, like we talk about SKU. SKU says, do not dare buy out of the money puts. Okay. Um, why not? Even if you think markets are going to go down because they're astronomically priced. So you and SKU, SKU you, you and SKU. I was having fun with this. SKU measures the price of out of the money puts versus out of the money calls. So if you're an option geek, SKU, here's a put and here's a call, okay? Whenever we kind of draw a distribution curve, whenever we draw a distribution curve, the distribution curve kind of looks like this. That couldn't be further from the truth right now. Right now, the distribution curve is just, it's skewed, it's, it's ugly. SKU ranges from 150, Okay, or from 100 to 150. Speaking of which, skew is an actual symbol. And this is the point that a lot of people don't really necessarily recognize. I've got it on my screen over here. Bring up skew. Skew actually last night was actually trading at 138. Let's go back. That's the full history of skew. Look how high it is right now. Okay. And it has been high since the onset basically of COVID. And again, this is these are yearly charts. So if you zoom in, like that's what we call a mystic in there. I apologize for that. But in that mystic, that skew is it's phenomenally high. It's just skew is phenomenally high right now. What does that mean for you? Skew has consistently been over 135, okay? And what this indicates is not only that markets are ready for serious down moves, markets are pricing in the serious down move, okay? <clears throat> what it really amounts to, when, you, when I say that there's a lot of skew, okay? You say it with me. There's a lot of skew in this market. What does that mean? It means the put, option is trading for a massive premium over the call option. I'm going to show you, okay? Proof's in the pudding. This is actually a skew chart. Um, skew yesterday, skew yesterday was right here at 139. These are record skew levels. Like no one, I'm telling you right now, the maximum level is 150. That's the highest reading possible or plausible. Skew ranges from 100 to 150 and you hit a ceiling and it can't go any higher. The calculation can't literally can't uh, handle anything higher. So what, uh, what does this mean and how do you actually price it and you know what, uh, what to do? If you look at a product like the spiders, and I'm just I'm gonna make a two second example here. Let's go 30 days out and let's look at something called implied volatility. Like I'm not gonna waste a lot of time in this, but this stuff is important because if you wanna learn this business and you wanna actually make money in this business, you better understand what you're facing. Look at the price, okay, of the, uh, that was swing and a miss over there. Look at the price of these puts. Forget about this price. I don't care, it's $6. Look, it's pricing off of a 17, almost 18 vol. Look at the price of the calls, it's a 13 vol, okay? The disparage between the, the put and the call is sick, okay? And I got a better one for you. It's absolutely disgusting how big skew is. Take a look at Tesla, because Tesla, okay, there's another thing going on in Tesla. You want to see something really, something really scary and wild? You go out of the money, the calls on Tesla are actually skewed positive, meaning that the skew bends up, that calls are expensive on Tesla. Why? Because you get all these people from like Robin Hood that are just, buy calls, man, buy calls. It's insane out there. Massive moves are forthcoming. Let's get down and dirty. How do you position yourself most effectively for the possibility of extreme movements? without exposing yourself to drastic risk, okay? Don't get cute. The marketplace right now is pricing in big movement. How do you actually then put yourself in a position to make money from those big moves, okay? First, first, okay? One thing I didn't, I did not delineate here. I'm telling you right now, the marketplace in one hand is pricing in huge risk to the downside in the S&Ps. 
On the other hand, and ironically, it's pricing huge risk to the upside in Tesla. Somebody's going to be wrong. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. By the way, skew looks at far out of the money options. So again, there's huge capital up for grabs in here because they're pricing in big, big moves, right? I'm going to start with this. If you believe the market is going to tank, if you believe the market is going to tank, novice traders and investors may look to position themselves for a significant down move in markets with the purchase of put options, meaning that I buy a put because I think the market's going to go down. Yeah, put options, they're currently trading at near record premiums. A skew is already pricing in outsized moves. Look, go look. That's why I did this a moment ago. We go into the spiders. The spiders are unquestionably the most prolific product. I don't care whether you go 31 days out, 59 days out, 94 days out, set, hut, hike, go out of the money. Look at the implied volatilities, okay? Look how far out of the money I am. You know, right now, let me just show you something interesting. Right now, the VIX is at 19. Look, okay, right here. See, the VIX, well, we'll call it 20. The VIX is at 20. The out of the money puts in the spiders are trading for almost a 30 vol. So what are they telling you? They're tagging on a, what, 50% premium right now to the out of the money puts, just in case we crash. I'm gonna charge you. There's always some skew. This is record skew. The further out you go, go out 94 days. Let's get crazy. <laughs> go out here 90 days. 90 days, man, it gets worse. Look at that crap. That's a 47% volatility. What? That's, that's 200 and like, what? 230% okay, from at the money implied volatility. I told you, okay, look at the at the money implied volatility. People don't realize they're getting ripped off right now. The at the money implied volatility is 16%. The out of the money is almost 50%. Think about this for a second. Buying a put is like, you're just putting this giant sucker sign on your head because they're charging a fortune for it. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you right now, there's another strategy that I use to, to sell that stuff. I don't wanna be a buyer of that, I don't wanna be a seller. So how can we take advantage of moves to the downside in markets and not pay massive amounts due to skew. You guys tell me, how can we do it? How can we actually do this, okay? Tesla is skewed, <laughs> okay? I'm not only like the stock that much, but it is, it's great stuff. Hmm. More hyper juice. How can we take advantage of moves to the downside and not pay massive amounts of skew? You ready? Okay, deep breaths. This is actually what we call a VIX volatility spread. This is no holds barred stuff, okay? I'm just gonna show it to you at a glance. I'm not gonna spend all day talking about this particular strategy. What I need you to understand, the VIX volatility spread first and foremost, okay? What do you pay for this strategy? Nothing, it's actually done literally for even money. So I'm not paying anything. Does the trade have risk? Yes. If the volatility were to collapse under 15, I could lose, I could lose as much as $5. But on this strategy, okay? I am actually buying a humongous call spread. I'm buying a 35 and I actually wanna, wanna actually put this up on the screen. So bear with me here and clean that up for a second. Oh, come on, man. There we go. I'm actually buying a 35, okay, get this, 75 spread. How wide is that spread? $40, but can you make it a $40 wide spread? You could make $40. What are you paying for it? Nothing. Do you have risk? Yes, but only if the VIX gets all the way, what? Back down to 15. So what happens if nothing happens in the volatility? I don't make anything, I don't lose anything. Okay, how do you like that? Because nobody's looking at that. Because I'll tell you right now, what they don't understand is the VIX is actually skewed in your favor. Can't use back spreads on the put side. You'll get killed. Okay, you'll get killed. The VIX is skewed in your favor. Very few people are gonna learn how to institute this trade correctly. This trade is one of the most finite. It has to be dead accurate. You got to know exactly what you're doing for a VIX volatility spread. And right now, look at this. This is actually for July, okay? And that trade, it's real. It's tangible. You could trade it literally right now. You know, the VIX is flat from where I actually took the screenshot. In fact, look at my portfolio. I have one on right now, okay? And again, I don't ever talk about something that I don't have on. Next in the docket, okay? 
just bear with me because we're going to come back to that in just a moment. So I like that one. Um, <clears throat> by the way, yeah, the July, I love somebody actually brought up, yeah, the VIX options, they don't move as much as I thought they would. They'll move if we go to above 35. If you believe the market is going to explode higher. So we had a faction, if you believe the market's going to tank, do this. If you believe the market's going to go higher, they'll do this. Well, could the market explode higher? Absolutely. As I said to you, the inflation picture right now, it's anything but clear. It shouldn't be clear to you. It's not clear to me. Okay. It doesn't matter whether you think prices are going up. It doesn't. And by the way, the whole inflation discussion, shelve it. It doesn't matter what you think. Okay. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't even matter what Jerome Powell thinks. It matters what they do. Because as I said, there's a no way out scenario. If they do nothing and they go, let's just leave rates low. Let's leave rates low. Hell, let's make rates negative. Negative interest rate policy, NERP. So they go into NERP, asset prices explode. You gotta be part of it, man, okay? Volatility is forthcoming. There's just, there's no way out scenario. The market sees it. That's why skew is, is showing up on both sides. Novice investors look to position themselves for a significant market move up and they use call options. But call options are also in many underlyings trading for record premium because skew like in stuff like Tesla or coin or, or, or GameStop, any of these stocks that are in play, they're actually pricing those moves to the upside. So how can we actually take advantage of moves to the upside, okay? And, and not pay massive amounts this is the backspread. This is actually a volatility backspread, okay? So backspread is an age-old strategy. So what you're actually doing in here is you're taking advantage of skew. You're selling a near money option, buying two further out of the money options and doing it for a very small credit. Is there risk in here? Yes, nominal risk though. There's actually a way to alleviate what we call the valley of death in risk in this particular trade. So what I want you to know is, first of all, there's a VIX volatility spread. Second of all, there's a volatility back spread. So we're taking this incredible shot. Like, think about the VIX for a second. When does the VIX go up? You tell me, when does the VIX go up? When the market goes where? Down. So when the S&Ps tank, the VIX explodes higher, right? This trade is in the QQQ. This is just a straight on bullish trade. It's a wildly bullish trade. And if the, you know, if the QQQ explodes higher, and this is actually a one month trade, I could do two months, I could do six months, but if it explodes higher. This is a one contract trade people, okay? And it's got such an explosive nature to it. Like the one thing you got to get down is, you know, the future, the future is bright. It's just full of risk. And I'm not suggesting, and, and I don't want to suggest that I'm going to be able to time any of these wild moves. Like this is not about like, I love this picture because it's like the crystal ball. It's not about that. Like you don't have the crystal ball. No one can see the future. You don't know whether they're going to raise rates, leave rates flat. There's probably some things the Fed is going to do to try to, you know, wiggle their way out of this. They didn't just paint themselves in a corner. Okay. The Fed is Pandora's box. Okay. And there's no way out other than to open it. And, and once you start to, to recognize that, you're going to appreciate some of the stuff that we're doing here. We are, however, we're suggesting having placed the correct option-based strategies, is, it's just going to make all of the difference. What you need to see in the bigger picture is that you could be two trades away from this, right? You can actually pull off both sides of the trade. At any given point in time, from now until pretty much these things start to subside, I will be on both sides of this marketplace. This is actually what we term an infinity spread, okay? And the infinity spread and the genesis of the infinity spread, which I'm actually gonna to talk to you guys about here momentarily, it's not a new strategy. This is something that there have been, you know, iterations of the infinity spread, versions, if you will, of the infinity spread since at least early on in my career. Before that, this is something that was handed to me from you know, people even prior to me. Um, this, again, is a very unique way, though, of using the infinity spread. And the infinity spread is, that's more my terminology to it. When I say it's an infinity spread, it's infinite upside and huge, uh, huge downside. Again, 
what you're looking at is VIX volatility spread mixed with the ratio back spread. And the whole thing is actually done for even money. Basically, you're not paying anything to put this on. Is there some risk? Yes, but it's, it's nominal risk. It's negligible risk. Put it on. You go, what happens if nothing happens? That's okay. Okay. To, to justify to you, like, why is it worth doing this? What an infinity spread is, is every month or every quarter, you know, you're putting the ball out there and you're going to take a swing at it. And if nothing happens, it's okay. Because the next quarter, you're going to take the swing and sooner or later, you're going to hit it out of the park. The conditions, okay. The conditions haven't been this good. All right since really the corona crash. The conditions though, have become incredibly viable once again for the infinity spread. And those conditions, when they become viable, typically stick around for some time. So I'm gonna show you a couple of my trades, okay? And I say the proof is in the pudding, people. Uh, and I really do believe that. First, I'm gonna allow me to display a number of key events. It, this is years. I'm actually going back to, again, like the origin of, of where the infinity spread came from. Markets and volatility did not effectively price risk, very similarly to right now. Thereafter, I'm going to display some current trades. And the primary strategy that I used, obviously, to create this is the infinity spread. So a little bit what one of our members are saying here, out of IWM at 202, closed the IWM yesterday for a 438 credit. These are actually people that had placed a, uh, a version of the back spread, as I showed you, an IWM. IWM just had some wicked moves, so we took advantage of a few of those you know, more wicked moves. As I was saying, I'll give you a little, little history. Okay, The history kind of goes like this. Every major market event, right? in really um, over about the last decade, have had some type of infinity spread on, some type of back spread on. And the way to display this is, well, to display it to you, this is the, uh, the Chinese Yuan devaluation of August of 2015. I'm just gonna show you quickly, just at a glimpse, okay? At a glimpse, and I think the most effective way to do this um, here is a 24 hour period of time. And again, it's not, you know, record breaking profits. This is a retail trade. Okay. $17,000 a P and L. All right. That's not a lot to some and to others. This is absolutely a huge amount. By the way, this account at the time, I think I had about 250,000 in it. I'm okay saying that, you know, and it's, it's again, it's about a $17,000 profit in a 24 hour period of time. This is the taper tantrum of 2016. Now, this, this was a very prolonged and very significant event to which the marketplace kind of tanked a little bit and volatility took off, okay? How did we do in this? Again, I like to display exact dates and times. This is an account statement specific from Thinkorswim. This is the Thinkorswim platform. Um, this is from January okay, of 2016 to you know, the end of February 2016. Basically, $103,000 of PL. As I said, everybody always asks me, okay, the account size, again, in the neighborhood between $200,000 and $250,000 was the uh, starting capital. I have a tendency to keep that, you know, in the account um, a little different these days, but this is, again, this is going back some years, okay? This is Brexit in 2016. This is a quick volatility burst. That quick volatility burst, I actually had an infinity spread on. Um, it's a $25,000 P&L, by the way. I know that this is super small print, but I had to cut and paste this gigantic account statement into here. It's a 24-hour period. All right, Brexit was actually really good. Any unforeseen uh, events, election of 2016, these are the actual trades. So I, I won better, G, on this one. Instead of looking just at overall P&L, okay, I actually showed the trades. These are back spreads. They're actually bullish back spreads. The night of the election, the marketplace kind of crashed down. I don't know if you guys remember that in 2016, the market crashed down and it was a, just an incredible opportunity. Look, these are actually futures markets and back spreads. And the reason I put the actual trades in here for one reason, who would have thought that you could put on bullish trades the night of the election, late night of the election, closed them the next morning. Okay, it's absolutely monumental. Look at this, $2.65 credit closed for a $19 credit, 70 cent credit, closed for a $30 credit. I mean, you do a couple of contracts of that, it's not gonna take much to have, you know, 10, 15, $20,000 of P&L 
on those uh, particular trades. Just going through a couple of events over here. This is a volatility event in 2018. This is January to February. This is what they called the VIX explosion. It's actually one of the largest volatility events ever to occur. Okay. This was also, and again, I wanted to get to specific trades. Okay. This is very similar to the VIX volatility spread. This is part of an infinity. I paid a dollar thirty-seven. I had no idea, and I want to make something completely and utterly clear here. You ready? I put the strategy on January seventeenth. I closed the strategy. Okay, February 9th. I put the strategy on like I always do, on you know quarterly basis, a monthly basis. I paid a dollar thirty-seven. I closed it for ten dollars and fifty-eight cents. Okay, this is your home run strategy. Okay, here's the Fed fueled selling in late 2018. This is where the Fed actually mentioned they might raise interest rates in 18. Okay, what happened? The markets tanked. Frankly, I didn't even keep the trade to the markets tanked. Here's another one in 2018, paid $1.20, closed it for $6.59. Okay, so these, all I'm showing you right now are these little like these one off events. You know, I'm just pinging out there one off event. You have to recognize something about this trade. This trade, okay, is about hitting the ball and hitting the cover off the ball in limited numbers of events. Okay. You can still trade and do whatever else you're doing on a day to day basis. But this is a strategy. You either have to use this as a hedge, and some of you are going to use this as a hedge. What do you mean a hedge? If you have a portfolio right now, you have a 401k and you have, you know, a half a million dollars tied up in a 401k, why can't you use this strategy, okay? Or a variation of it. In case the marketplace tanks, your strategy will explode back onto the scene and it'll save you a fortune, okay? You can use this as a hedge against selling options premium, which is something I've talked about just a huge amount selling options premium because volatility is elevated right now. It's a good time to sell options premium. This can be your hedge, right? But these, these trades I'm showing you right now, these were placed standalone. These were designed expressly to take advantage of big volatility moves. Here's an infinity call spread. And again, I'll show you in 2019, 20 cent debit to an $11 credit. By the way, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw this out here is, uh, Right after I placed this trade, my uh, business partner turned around and he goes, you should get a Tesla because that's unbelievable. So we did. <laughs> we, we did. I, uh, I always wanted one of these. And I'm like, I'm not paying like that money for the car. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I hit one big trade in Tesla and I did it, you know, and by the way, I still, I still have a car. It's absolutely spectacular. The, the single biggest trade though I ever had, and this is not popular in, uh, in discussion, and I'm just going to throw it out there. You'll notice that everything that I've done today is after 2015. I worked in the brokerage business uh, up until February of 2015. So every trade that I'm showing you, an account statement, is after I was in the brokerage business. While I was in the brokerage business, we do not show account statements. That is actually against the regulations, of course, from the uh, from not only the brokerage firm you're working for, but of course the SEC, because it's an implication, of course, of forward profits. But the single biggest trade I ever had was undoubtedly the financial crisis. And the financial crisis, uh, I took the proceeds and actually bought this, which is the house that you know we currently uh, reside in. It's for sale right now. Well, it's about to be for sale anyway. Um, if you look behind me, the place looks empty. There's, uh, it's been totally emptied out. Um, anyway, uh, the house goes for sale in about three weeks. So if you have a lovely $3.3 million, you too can live in Scottsdale, Arizona. By the way, this is actually one of the greatest trades I've ever had too. The house was actually purchased um, for a little over like $1.3 million. So we're going to come out of this, you know, two, $3 million, uh, you know, ahead uh, by the way, that's what a $3 million house looks like inside, if you're, if you're so curious, uh, neither here nor there. Uh, I've lived here now for, for 10 years. So we bought the place in 2010, and we are in the middle of exiting. And uh, speaking of exiting, uh, we didn't know that we were moving. We didn't know we were moving. In fact, uh, this is an indoor basketball court. When COVID hit, I bought a gym. I literally bought a gym that went out of business. Uh, brief side story here. I bought an actual gym that closed down and 
all of the equipment was like, it was in the middle of COVID. It was in April of last year. So we were actually redoing the house and I go, take it, take all the equipment in the gym and they moved it in here. So uh, I am uh, I'm a little, little upset, a little perturbed about that one because I spent a lot of time. It's not even about money. It's about a lot of time actually building this. And the, uh, the only trade that I've had that ever came close, literally the only trade that I've ever had in my life that came close to what I call the financial crisis trade. And at the time, I, I don't mind saying, guys, I was, you know, I was 30, uh, 34 years old when I bought, you know, this property, the, uh, the only trade I've had close to that is this. And that's actually our place now in St. Croix. So we, uh, it's already bought, done, and we're going to relinquish this, but this is the, uh, the COVID trade. And I'm actually going to show you the positions um, leading into COVID. And again, the conditions are almost the same now, except skew is even better now than it was uh, coming into COVID. But here are some of the COVID, uh, the COVID related trades. So here's actually a SPY Infinity backspread. Uh, and again, this is only coming into January. This is before anybody even knew what COVID was. But interestingly enough, and I just wanna point this out, the marketplace actually saw degrees of volatility, but the irony is the first move was actually a positive one. Very few people ever look back and say like, hey, you know, here's, a, here's January of 2020, the marketplace is still exploding to the upside. I threw this in here because it's evidence the market was actually exploding to the upside. It assumed, and again, you know, I didn't know anything about, I was just putting on a bullish strategy. But by January 9th, the world did know what COVID was and we still exploded to the upside. What got really interesting is here's the other side of the trade. The other side of the trade was this is, okay, the, what we term a risk twist. And this is for every $180 I invested, I got back uh, 1053 Just to clarify for a second, and for all of you that are actually watching this, okay, if you did 10 contracts, that's $1,800. Okay, that gets back 10000 530. Okay. If you did, you know, hundred contracts, obviously just add zeros on there and your contract size is up to you. And that's one thing I don't like to do. And by the way, um, somebody actually asked a question in here and I, I love it. And I'm going to show you again in a moment said, no, these trades, you know, done live or it's after the fact. Okay. Yeah. You can, um, you can actually look and I'll show you this in a, in a little while here. Okay. This is the portfolio. This is, there's actually spreads in here already. They're ready to go. Meaning that we are sending the trades out in real time. Every one of these trades was done in real time here at Theo Trade. So this is clients followed every one of these trades. Okay, absolutely unequivocally. And everything that I do in my account, and I'm nuts about this, everything I do in my account, I don't care whether I'm up money today. Look, here's another account. This is my IRA or down money. Full disclosure, there's nothing. People are, is that trading live? Okay. It's my portfolio margin account, $82,000 total tied up right now. No holds barred, people. I showed everything, okay? 485% return. Here's actually a VIX volatility spread. This might not look like much. I paid nothing for it and closed it for 375. Look at the dates. This is coming into COVID, all right? What our members are saying, because I wanted to show you like, Don, look, I closed the TLT risk twist spread for 127% gain. Pretty excited to see the whole risk twist. That's from Vicky. This is the second time I've been to Don's service. It took a while to sink in, okay? Um, it's embarrassing to think. And by the way, they fit also using the risk twist trade. It's embarrassing to think of the tens of thousands I spent on option info. Uh, Don's class is the greatest, okay? The next one here, this is an XLF. It's the financials. Every person in here can do the financials trade. It was done for a $36, sorry, $36 debit if you did one contract, right? For $36 I invested, I got back 135, it's 275% return. It doesn't look like a lot. It doesn't need to be a lot. So it's all about contract size. You know, if you wanted to go out and do hundred contracts, it's $3,600 at risk to be able to make what, 13,500. You know, it's the size, okay? Size doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter because you know the commissions and so forth, the commissions, you know, it's 65 cents for one contract. It's, you know, what, 65 cents, you know, per contract for a hundred contracts. It doesn't make a difference anymore. I mean, it's like utopia out there. So this is actually coming into the, in the, into the uh, COVID crisis. Obviously, this is an XHB. This is the home builders. Look at this one. Every $53 I invested, I got back 362. It's 583% return. Okay. Now, XLU, just so you guys know, that is the single largest uh, risk twist that I ever hit. This is 
every $96 I invested, I got back $1,272. It's a 1,225% return. Uh, again, this one was actually done inside of my IRA. So it's the XLU, it's the utility sector. Next, EEM. What I wanted you guys to see is there was this immense move to the downside, just wild move to the downside with the onset of COVID. And then the marketplace started to rebound and we were all over it. And the irony was I ended up placing more bullish trades in here. And in terms of, I ended up hitting more, I should say, bullish trades than bearish trades in the EEM. Uh, this was actually opened in May, closed in June. Every 18 cent, 18 cent credit closed for uh, you know a dollar seven. This is actually a back spread. Here's an XLF. This is again, this happens to be a bullish back spread. Put it on for nothing, closed for 50 cent credit. Another XLF trade, put on for a 25 cent credit, closed it for a 26 cent credit, which means I collected 25 cents, then collected another 26 cents in closing it. Okay. Here, this is uh, John Haggerty, 570% gain onward. Uh, and this is last summer. And again, I try to, tried to time this a little bit around that particular strategy. Okay, XLF body to back ratio is batting 1,000. Close my XLF, thanks, Don. Okay, this is the TLT put spread. TLT, it's interest rates. Okay, to home run in here. This is an XLE back spread from, um, again, from the time frame of June, of course, of uh, 2020. All right. Here's a Roku back spread. You know, people always ask, do you ever lose on this strategy? Of course. I'm going to show you right now. That's a $2 credit. I closed it for a 38 cent debit. So I actually ended up making in this trade, let's call it about $1.60. I did everything wrong in here. This is a bearish trade. Roku did nothing but go up, but I still made money. This is a Microsoft back spread. Okay. I went out there and did it for a 76 cent credit, closed it for a $5.40 credit. Sold Microsoft for 550, sold Microsoft, filled at 587. All I'm showing you in this context is that, again, our clients trade the strategies with us. Okay. Silver back spread. Now we're coming into later 2020. QQQ back spread. All right. Later in 2020, put on for a 52 cent credit, closed for a $6.29 credit. All right. Out for 752. Some people smoked my numbers. Out for 752, made $1,458 today. Nice profits. One of the things that I stress to you as you start going through these trades and you're looking at them, okay, these are, again, a lot of them are bullish strategies. 87 cent credit for a 65 cent debit. Again, people ask, like, do you ever take a loss on it? That's it. But I put it on for an 87 cent credit and closed it for a 65 cent debit. Don't get lost in this, okay? Um, this is actually into October. This is the QQQ back spread. Again, one of the largest back spreads I've ever had. 71 cent credit, closed it for an $11 credit. It's a home run, okay? Um, this is just some of our clients are saying, hey, new member here looking in chat for about a month. We'll short the SPY. Theotrade's the only membership I've ever had that pays for itself and then some. You know, the reason that I say this is infinity spreads, the opportunities are now. And I want you to understand something, okay? And I want to go back to the trades. You'll notice I cut off. Okay, the conditions changed. The conditions changed in the October timeframe such that I literally hit the brakes, okay, and backed away from some of the infinity spreads. I still have them on right now, okay, but the conditions all of a sudden, they're perfect again. The conditions are idealistic, right? I'm telling you, the time is now for these things. And I stress that to everybody as the infinity spreads, opportunities are coming because the VAMA is way up. When I say the VAMA, this is the, the VVIX, the volatility, the volatility index. People, we are heated right now. What has occurred is all of this, the volatility, the volatility, it finally died out. And you can see the last hurrah. And again, the last time I was wildly profitable on these strategies, that last hurrah was right here in October. It died out stayed mellow. We've only seen one glimpse of real volatility. We're back. We're absolutely back right now. We are deep into volatility at this point. This is not the kind of volatility most people look at. This is the volatility of the VIX, and it is becoming idealistic for none other than it's the infinity spread. And again, all I'm actually doing is combining this VIX spread with the QQQ to take both sides of the marketplace. It doesn't have to necessarily be done in these products right now. The VIX specifically it is just priced. And you don't have to sit here and trade this all day, every day. You know, if you don't have a lot of time, like that's not a huge problem. Every trade, every trade that I did today, okay, other than I call, you know, I say every trade, 
The financial crisis trades, I, I didn't show that to people. That is, you know, that's when you work at a broker dealer, you can't really show what you do, um, which is one of the things that is brutal about it. Now, we show everything we do. I mean, again, as I say, this is no holds barred. You want to see a strategy? Here, there's a VIX vol spread right there, okay? There's no huge contract size in here, but at the same time, I got some positions on. Clearly, I've got some positions on. But the trade results that we're showing today, this is part-timers. This is not sit in front of your screen and trade all day. The infinity spread is completely hands-off. You can even, and you should use good till canceled orders. A fraction of your time, you know, we actually will text the trade out. You can execute upon it, right? And some of the characteristics of the infinity spread. So it's going to increase value when exposed to heavy volatility, increase value when markets sell off or rally huge. There is significant profit potential in downside move and obviously significant profit potential in an upside market move. Will it lose some money if the market stays flat? I always want to address that. And the answer is undoubtedly, yes, okay? we do lose a little bit of capital right in the middle. And I, I want to address it because I don't want you to think it's a completely free ride. There are ways though to finance this trade. Like that's what we do here at TheoTrade. You know, you put this thing on and then you can actually finance it. What do you mean finance it? You can actually sell other options to pay for the infinity spread. Like that's one of the reasons I wanted to cover the infinity spread. The conditions are ideal again. So I, I kind of feel like, you know, most of the time when I'm showing you like stuff during these webcasts, it's like here, it's in the present. The re you know what? The conditions sometimes fade out, okay? Well, the conditions just literally ramped back up in the last couple of weeks. And, you know, here I am showing the infinity spread and I'm telling you, get on board with it. Get on board because this strategy is going to start to work again. You're going to have to take that time to learn it. You're going to have to execute upon it, but it's the perfect spread though to reduce risk of a stock portfolio. It's also a great, great, you know, if you are not going to sit in front of the screen all day, you only have to place this a few times a year and you want to try to build an account, you know, looking for that one big market event, you're going to get it. Okay. Again, you can use this strategy as a hedge, which is risk reduction against other stuff, or you can use this strategy as just an outright, I'm trying to knock the cover off the ball. That is up to you, right? Building the infinity spread. Don't let the options portion of this intimidate, okay? Meaning that like, don't look at this and they go, oh, he, he said the O word, you know, like seriously, do not let the options portion of this intimidate you. The trade below is being done for a four cent credit, but you look at this for the first time and if you're brand new, you're like, yeah, sometimes a little hamster gets stuck in the wheel. It's fine, but use correctly. All right, this can create really effective returns, but like showing somebody a VIX volatility spread, showing somebody a back spread, like the only way to say this, people, this is like, it's like the mother of all strategies, okay? It is the mother of all strategies out there in terms of its ability for explosive returns. You got to get it on right. By the way, somebody said, you know, do you choose spots or do you usually just place them when the conditions are right? Just place them and let it go. Let it go. Just place them and just close your eyes. And one day you wake up and you know the craziest thing about the infinity spread. And I'm telling you this in the nicest possible way, but one of the craziest things about this spread, you wake up and you go, God, I hope today is like the worst day ever in the market. <laughs> you have tendency to do that. Um, it it kind of makes you a crisis seeking trader. Okay. It makes you a crisis seeking trader. And, and I love what people are asking, how do you put on the strikes? That's exactly what I'm about to talk about. You know, you got to use this correctly or you're going to cut off a couple fingers. Like it needs to be used correctly. Don't let the options portion of intimidate you. But this, this is what you need to know to successfully create infinite possible returns with minimal risk, which is the infinity spread. One of the first things you have to know, when and where do I place my infinity spreads? You know, by the way, all the questions are like piling into the chat right now, which I love. What do I do with the strike prices? You know, well, uh, when do I put these two trades on? So when and where do I place infinity spreads? It's the first question you should ask, okay? How often should I place these infinity positions? And do they need to be continually monitored? I'll tell you right now, they don't have to be monitored, okay? Bottom line with this, when it's time to close an infinity spread, everybody in the world is gonna know about it because the only time that these trades get closed it's, it's either Armageddon to the downside, right? Like a marketplace that's just free fall, 
or it's an explosive move to the upside that has the entire world, you know, like wrapped around the market like a little finger. Seriously, monitoring them is very simple. You walk by a TV somewhere and you're like, holy crap, market's down huge. I may have to look at my phone and close my infinity spread. How do I set up the trades? And what's the correct market volatility to place the trades within? I keep saying this, like there is an idealistic time to open and close these. That time is execute, execute, execute. It is now, okay? Do I need a large amount, uh, do I need a large amount of capital in my account to do this? Absolutely not. Just to justify this, so everybody's aware, $2,000 minimum, then you can place the strategy. You can absolutely unequivocally do this in an IRA. So if it's a retirement account, done all day long. Margin account, done. You're not going to need a lot of capital. I showed you a trade in there for $36. You could have done this inside of the XLF. What underlying stocks or indices make the best candidates? Clearly, I have displayed trades where? Okay. I have displayed trades in none other than VIX. I've displayed trades in the QQQ. Obviously, I showed you a little trade in the XLU. I traded in XH, you know, XHB. I traded a little bit of Tesla out there. I, I just go on and on with it because... It's all about that right volatility. You know, I'm talking about like, you know, what's the volatility? Okay, the volatility will dictate what products, what underlines, what stocks, what indices make the best candidates. How do I know when to get in, when to get out? We actually help you there. What are the percentage returns supposed to be? I know a lot of people probably didn't pick up on that, but we have, as I started to show you strategy after strategy and profitable after profitable trade, there are guidelines specifically for percentage returns. Can I do this in an IRA or retirement account? Of course. It's actually, it's what I do. You know what? Most of the trades that you saw in there, this is a portfolio margin account, but this is my IRA. Okay. That's my IRA. And I can actually go into the account statement. I can show you everything I did back in the VIX. Okay. I can show you, you know, all of these trades. That's where those, I mean, we just copy and paste it directly from my account. What do I size my trades? Like, and how do I size the, uh, size the trades? We actually help you size trades for the account. It's of critical importance. Too big, you're going to need a huge amount of your account. Remember, you don't need a lot of a strategy that can produce, you know, three or 500% returns. What's the right amount of risk for me? Whether you have a $2,000 account or a $2 million account, we can help you zero that in. How do I build the infinity spread? Like, literally, how do you go about structuring the VIX spread? You know, it, one of the things that people get lost in Okay, you get lost kind of in the minutia of a trading application. You open this up and all of a sudden you're selling one of these and you're buying one of these and then you, you turn around and for instance, buy one of these and like, you know, sell one of these and look, lo and behold, it doesn't work like he said. Okay, that's because you got the wrong strikes in here and we tweak this and tweak that. Okay, you got to learn click for click where to go. And that's exactly what we do. Let me show you again, exactly what we do here at TheoTrade. TheoTrade creates recipes in trading. Okay, and what a recipe in trading is, it's definitive, it's a checklist. Okay, trading, you're gonna find this out sooner or later. It's all about answering the what ifs. What might be a good infinity spread candidate? Where it's the correct options expiration cycle? How much capital do I commit to these positions? When should I execute into the trade? What strike price options do I buy? Theo Trade has those answers. We build recipes, which is definitive criteria. And they're actually checklists for each unique strategy and each unique variable that you're going to encounter. All the questions that are coming up over here, when I say a checklist, it's a pre-flight checklist. If you hopped into the cockpit of a 747, okay, nobody just turns a key and throttle up and you know you take off down the runway. It doesn't work that way. They get in there, so these it's 20, 30 minutes of checklists. We're not saying that it's going to be like that here, 20 or 30 minutes, but you better believe like, is the volatility in the product correct? Check, okay? What's the skew in the product? Check, all right? Is the liquidity in the product enough? Check, check the bid off for spreads, meaning that the markets, you know, check. Okay, what's the open interest? Check. What are the strike prices that I buy? What's the delta that I sell? Check. Every single nuance, people, that's what's covered here. But more importantly, is once we get you into the trade, then you actually start to get what we call fluidity. It's variables. What do I mean by it? Like the market gets, well, it's fluid. What happens? The market goes up, the market goes down, the market stays flat, expiration is coming, dividends are payable. Oh my, 
every unique variable. It's like a flow chart that you're actually, again, the fluidity of it is you're going through this checklist and you go, oh, the expiration's coming. Oh, this is coming. We answer those questions. That's what we actually do here at Theotrade. Anybody can strategize. Anybody can say, this is a VIX volatility spread. You can go out there and copy a VIX volatility spread right now. But what you don't know is the right probability for the trade. You don't know how many contracts do for the account size. You don't know when to close the spread. The infinity spread, you got to know when to close it. What if the market sells off huge? You got to realize, do you know when you close this strategy? I'll tell you when you close it. Absolute heat of battle. One of the most difficult things that you're ever going to do. You're taking profits, okay? When markets are absolutely falling apart, as I said, when it's Armageddon, you're going to love it. When you explode to the upside and everybody's high-fiving one another, you're still part of it. What if we sell off big? What's the correct return? You got to know that now. You can't figure that out on the fly. Markets are tanking, falling apart around you, and you think you're going to actually be able to look 500%, 600%. You can't figure it out on the fly. It has to be there for you. Okay. What if we rally massively? Can I fix a losing trade? It comes down to how, the when, the why, at what price. And I'm telling you, it is just... The, the very tip of the iceberg, the beginning of the variables you're going to face while trading these infinity spreads. You know, you can read about what an infinity spread is. You can read about spreads. There's probably 10,000 pages that you can Google regarding, you know, back spreads and stuff. Maybe even how to build a couple of, of these spreads, okay? But none of them are going to have Theo Trade's recipe for success. I have 20 years trading experience, 22 years now. I had access to client order flow for 15 years. By the way, it's not just me here at Theotrade. This is not a, a one trick pony. We have seven other full-time instructors, okay? All of which have their own unique genre of trade, which I will display a little bit later. We have viewed and studied, and I say we, a lot of us actually come from the Thinkorswim TD Ameritrade world. I mean, we built a lot of what is today retail options trading. Like if you look at undoubtedly the most prolific, you know, brokerage platform of its time, it was Thinkorswim, okay? And a huge amount of that crew is Theotrade. Again, I ran the education division for 15 years at a firm with the largest option order flow, okay? This is where the criteria comes from and criteria is your recipe for success. The following strategy, course, the infinity spread and the corresponding criteria, it requires the utmost attention to detail because we spent years, okay, years fine tuning this trade setup and this criteria. When you approach the section on criteria, you follow the steps to be able to build a trade, okay? We have not one, but two classes on this front that combine into what we term maximum return with infinity spreads package. Now, before a lot of people look at this and they go, oh, another class, and actually, no, it's two classes. What we're about here at Theotrade, we do not sell individual classes. You can't buy the maximum returns with infinity spreads package solo, okay? What we do here at Theotrade is a vast departure from, I think, what people have been exposed to in the education side of finance. And the education side of finance, listen, you can get a person that's a, you know, one day is a, is a taxi cab driver and turned into, you know, a professional trader. It's not what you get here at Theotrade. All of us had a minimum of 15 years of experience. Either they worked on a trading floor, they worked in the brokerage business. Some of them are just, you know, heavy retail traders. So the better part of 15 to 20 years, that is our background is finance. What we do here at Theotrade is all encompassing. And before I even tell you about the classes, I'm just going to tell you right now, what you get here at Theotrade is everything you need to support yourself. If you're looking at this and thinking it's just two classes, you're dead wrong. Okay. If you're looking at it, you go, oh, another $500 class. Okay. We'll text you trades out. We give you email access to us so that you can email me and say, am I doing this trade right? Okay. We give you access to every variable that you're going to need to support you, not only through the learning curve, okay, but until you actually, you know, take the training wheels off, we walk you through all of this, again, with definitive criteria, checklists, coursework, and more importantly, okay, 
we get you ramped up. There's some people coming today that have never had options experience before. And we actually take you from literally from nothing, from, from A all the way to Z into the infinity spread. I will describe all of that here momentarily. What I just wanted to throw that out, okay? One of the biggest things right now, like if you need help in this business, you can't even call your brokerage platform anymore. You can't call TD Ameritrade. You can't call Charles Schwab. They ain't even going to pick up the phone for two hours. If you just came to Theo Trade, because you can email us and say, am I doing this trade right? We answer, by the way, trade-related questions. Very few education firms, they say, well, it's a hypothetical. Fire a trade at me. We'll answer it. Let me tell you about this, and then I'm going to show you everything that encompasses Theo Trade, because I want you guys to understand before I even tell you, you know, what this class is, that you have access to all of these other ancillary items. But that's what that's what makes you successful in this business. That you don't just take a class, you know, and then what? You know, you become like chasing shiny objects. Oh, a shiny object! Look at the chart. Another shiny object. Okay. We have an entire system here at Theotrade that walks you literally from A to Z. No matter how novice you are, or how experienced you are, we will challenge you okay, on both fronts. For the maximum returns with infinity spreads package, I happen to be the trade instructor. This is actually broken into two courses and it's broken into two courses specifically because, well, first of all, it's easier to do this in two bits, but there's a volatility crash course. Okay, which basically alludes to the fact that volatility can emerge at any time. But the volatility crash course actually teaches what we call okay, the VIX vol spread component. The volatility crash course is you understanding what implied volatility really is. Okay, but more importantly, it's not just your understanding, it's how to actually place the VIX volatility spread. Secondly, we come in here and we actually do a volatility back spread. This is like a ratio back spread course, it's a three hour course. Okay, the slide decks have this very detailed entry and exit criteria. It's the checklist, right? It's available immediately. So you come here today, you know, enroll for it and you're downloading the slide decks and you'll look through the slide decks, but watch the videos with it. The course, uh, these courses are actually archived, right? They're 24 seven access. By the way, you can also, you can download our courses on uh, Theo Trade Mobile. So you can watch this on a mobile application. You can watch it on an iPad. I don't know, you can't really see over here, but you know, so you can, you know, use obviously your, your mobile application. There it goes. You can use your mobile application, uh, download it. It is, um, it's good to go. It's good to go on that particular front. So <clears throat> that uh, the course is archived already and it's available immediately. This is something that we put together we refined it, we cut it, it's ready to go, and you can start watching it today. <clears throat> Just so you see, this is the workshop curriculum. You're gonna learn how to construct infinity spreads, maximum returns with minimal risk, how to build your own infinity spread, stock index and ETF, a step-by-step -step detailed entry and exit criteria, how to build infinity spreads, whether you're, of course, bullish or bearish, right? Whoops. How to actually uh, hedge your portfolio from pending market turmoil. This for somebody in here, okay? I think that this has been understated. Okay. There's too many people that are probably watching today. And again, we have a tremendous number of people on, but there's too many people watching today that don't get that this, these strategies can be used to mitigate downside risk. You know, how else could you mitigate downside risk? You go, I'll just get out of the market, but you don't necessarily have to get out of the market if you have this risk management tool underneath, because you don't want to miss like, and again, think about this. If markets explode to the upside, if inflation is here and literally inflation should drive the markets through the roof, but if inflation comes and you drive through the roof, you want to be part of that. So you put okay, this hedge underneath the portfolio. So if you still go up, that hedge is still out there. I mean, I think it's important. Again, I think it's one of the more under-discussed, underutilized you know, aspects of, of what we're talking about today. Um, we're going to tell you about when to open, when's the best time to actually close infinity spreads, the tools to help you analyze market condition. This is a lot about expected move, how to create trades based on market volatility and not purely direction of the marketplace. This is actually covered in the VIX volatility uh, you know, crash course, how to generate huge returns off small accounts. You're not going to need a huge amount of money to do this. Again, it's an outlier strategy. We're going to give you the strikes, the expiration, that will give you the highest probability of success, and why these infinity spreads. They're perfect for part-timers, okay? retirement accounts. You don't have to be glued to the screen. 
I just threw that in there, you know, uh, as part of the ancillary, because it's important that you know that this is going to be fairly hands off. This is not going to be sitting in front of the computer screen all day, you know, uh, waiting, waiting for the big move. You know, it's important. Uh, in addition to that, Theo trades completely riskless trade. This is for here. This is for now. This is for today. It's a 90 day money back guarantee. So money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied in the next 90 days, just email support at theotrade.com, receive a full refund. Um, the stipulations, there are none. We have absolutely no stipulations, not a money back guarantee. The reason we say this is, listen, the conditions are idealistic for the infinity spreads. I can't tell you if the infinity spread is going to work in the next 90 days, but I can tell you this, you got no risk. There's no excuses. There's no questions, no commentary. Like, by the way, what I'm saying is if you want your money back, you don't have to, and no commentary. It's okay. Right? Just email us and ask for your money back. We just want everybody to feel like secure and knowing that you know we're here to help you. And hopefully you can you can tell that you can email us, you can contact us. Right. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to jump into some of the bonuses, but I'm throwing this out there right now. There's absolutely no risk. Okay. And we're a firm that literally you email us. Okay. You don't, this is not like a gym membership where you have to give blood to get out of the gym membership. Um, just email us and you're out and we'll actually give you your money back. And that's important to me. Go to theotrade.com forward slash profit. Theotrade.com forward slash profit. You can literally enroll right now. Now, okay. I'm actually going to go through what I call a couple of bonuses. This is everything that encompasses Theotrade. As I said, you know, I threw this up here a moment ago, and I think it's important that I say this again. I threw this up here. I said, no, nah, it's not 497. We have an incentive for people to enroll today. Okay. And the incentive goes a lot beyond just two classes. And it comes to this. Okay. When I say you want a bonus, we go beyond a class or one indicator. Um, we kind of understand that, you know, you don't want to be nickel and dime. I'm a very aware that a lot of educators, a lot of educators, they go out there and they charge you 500 bucks for a class. Then they charge you 500 for an indicator. Then they charge you 500 bucks for a class to learn to use the indicator to take this class. Before you know it, all that's obsolete. And they charge you 500 bucks for a class. Has anybody actually been through the, uh, the circle of life yet before with the classes? It's ridiculous. So before I even show you what some of the bonuses are, and I am going to show you that, I elaborate and say this, we give you everything that we are and everything that we do from day one, okay, at one price. We don't hold anything back. What I'm telling you is, and somebody, I, by the way, I appreciate what James, uh, what James actually said, Theotrade is, is worth the money. Uh, and I appreciate it because, I, I mean, we kill ourselves. If there's something that you need in this business that we're not giving you, you need to tell us. Like, by the way, somebody said, are the profits taxable? Not inside of an IRA, but everything's taxable. Okay. Everything's taxable. Um, bonus number one, quick start guide. So in the first bonus, we give you a quick start guide. If you've never put on a trade before, we take you from absolute A to Z. I want to show you what the quick start guide actually looks like. It's called start here. And what is start here? Start here it means start here menu. Options 101, options 201, um, options 301. Okay. I like this. Okay. Uh, again, we just walk you through option geeks. You know, even the most experienced people, listen to me. I don't care if you're experienced now. You're like, ah, oh, I'm past this. Yeah, order execution part one, two, and three. I spent 15 years working at a brokerage firm. Seven of my years were spent working on order execution for Thinkorswim. So while running the education, I did a lot of work on the order execution system of Thinkorswim. You guys, the insight that you will get order execution part one, two, and three is worth thousands of dollars right there to you, right? Seriously. You know, so bonus number one, if you're a newbie, you go through the quick start, the beginner's guide, right? And again, that is your newbie entering your first trade. Bonus number two, we give you access to every class we've done since we started TheoTrade in 2016. You are here today, obviously take the class maximum returns with infinity spreads, okay? However, you get access to everything we've ever done. When I say everything, Guide to small account growth, in out spread, surviving and thriving in extreme volatility, back spreads, growing a small account, how to collect income being short, the next big short. This is the risk twist spread, probably one of the more prolific classes we've ever done. Uh, high probability. You know what else is in here? Ultima. Ultima, which is something we're selling options premium right now. I didn't even put it in here. Ultima is in here. Ultima, which is Theo Trade, selling options premium, is part of this. That class was just done 
again, a couple of weeks ago. And it has been an absolute grand slam in terms of profitability. But right now, and I'm adamant that people do this, you're coming here today for maximum returns with infinity spreads, not because you're just trying to hit a home run. You may already be selling premium. You need these strategies to mitigate the risk. What are you going to do if we explode higher, explode lower? Like you've got to have the infinity spread under your belt. So you're getting access to every course that we've ever done. You know what? I think it's also, it's, it's permissible at this point to, you know, here's the start here menu, but you want to see what our classes look like? Okay. Here's all the classes, option classes, option newbies, technicals, futures and bonds, stocks, day trading, hedging, trend trading, people. You want to see what this looks like? Open up the options. I'm the option geek. I'm the resident option geek here. Okay. You want to see what some of the classes look like? Gamma irons, unusual option activity. The most recent class we did is ultimate income generator. Okay. Back spreads, volatility crash course. Told you these are some recent courses that are in here, right? You're going to love it. You click on like the volatility crash course. This is the course that you're signing up for today. Okay. And again, you can click here to download. It's all in there. It's, it's all part of it. Okay. So you get access to, again, quick start guide, obviously a hundred other classes, over a hundred classes. Bonus number three, all access VIP membership pass free. What is it? Okay. It's our live trading room. It's also text and push notifications. It's all of our portfolios. It's daily coaching sessions and it's email support. Okay. We give you access to everything that we do. And we say like a, uh, a live trading room. Okay. It's live right now. It's live. Like the market's open, right? If the market's open, we're live people. Yeah. That's okay. not going to this, this is actually none other than Tony Rago. This is a guy that's actually trading intraday. So this is a futures trader, okay? This is, wow, the VVIX has now hit one, uh, 120. By the way, this is our, one of our clients is actually talking about this. These people know what's going on. They all come here the, uh, you know, the same way, but they know what's going on right now. Um, with that, we give you access to five different trading portfolios daily coaching sessions, which is continual update. We also give you access to real-time trading. And you don't have to watch this six hours a day. It's all recorded. You can even watch it on mobile and speed it up. You could watch it at two times the speed if you just want to catch me or catch Corey Rosenblum or catch, you know, um, you know maybe, uh, maybe Brandon Chapman. It's all part of it. And it's, it's, again, that is bonus number three over there. We give you all access pass. It's three full months, it's 90 days inside of the chat room. You learn a tremendous amount from us. Here are the Theo Trade instructors, Jeff Bierman, Matt Milliamson, Corey Rosenblum, Brandon Chapman, uh, Steve Miller, Tony Rago, Blake Young. Just so you guys know, um, Jeff Bierman, he also worked, of course, at uh, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. He was the chief market technician. If you've ever traded on uh, the Thinkorswim platform, Beerman actually built over half the studies on the Thinkorswim platform. So unquestionably, one of the best market technicians out there. Jeff Beerman is also currently, okay, not post, but currently a professor at um, DePaul in uh, Chicago. So he kind of moonlights between DePaul and of course, um, uh, he's a finance professor there uh, and Theotrade. Matt Williamson is a market neutral. He's a premium selling option strategist. Corey Rosenblum, by the way, Corey Rosenblum also has the designation of CMT. Jeff Bierman has the designation of CMT. We have one, two, three CMTs on our crew. There are major firms okay, on the street that don't have three CMTs on their crew. I just wanted to point that out. Corey Rosenblum, he's our resident swing trader. Um, what does Corey do? Again, just that. What's swing trading over there? Shorter term moves. He's actually done lately extraordinarily well on an intraday basis. For those of you that do want to pay attention on a day-to-day -day basis, Corey is your person right now. Brandon Chapman, he's our macroeconomics. Like if somebody asked about inflation, stagflation, okay, both him and Professor uh, Jeff Bierman are directly in charge of this, but uh, macroeconomics. Brandon Chapman also worked at uh, both Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade. Brandon Chapman actually wrote many of the course manuals that TD Ameritrade uses to this day for their education. Then we come to Steve Slim Miller, 43-year veteran stock options and futures trader. I'll give Steve the claim to fame. He's our in-house and resident psychologist uh, in terms of trading. We have classes on the psychology of trading. Discuss those in a moment. Tony Rago, okay. Tony purely trades NASDAQ futures. That's who you just saw live a moment ago. Last but not least, 
Blake Young, market profile, futures, currency, and commodity trader. Um, Blake Young also comes directly from uh, TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim, as I said. We took you know, some of the best of the best and put them together on this particular crew. There are now eight full-time instructors, including myself. This is some of our crew here at Theo Trade. It's not just the you know, Don Kaufman show. It's, it's again, it's everybody that uh, you know, is in terms of the instructors. Next in the docket, access to 59 proprietary indicators and scans. The auto expected move, I'm gonna give you that momentarily. So I know some people are hanging in here and I'm gonna answer some questions here in just a couple of moments, okay? Um, this is, um, <laughs> by the way, I appreciate the, uh, some of the comments in there. Um, this is proprietary indicators and scans. We don't sell indicators, we don't sell scans. We give them to you and we just ask that you don't, you know, don't spread them around the entire industry, but we will actually give you the auto expected move today. But if you want everything that we use and, you know, I use some of these scans and indicators on a day-to-day -day basis, for instance, Quantix, okay, Quantix. And you're like, well, what would I want to use that for? Look at these Russell ticks right here, okay, breaking lower. And of course the market of, you know, in effect, breaking lower with them, but um, it's critical that you understand we're not charging you for scans, indicators, there's classes on each one of these, IV rank, again, NQ levels, next generation squeeze, position trackers, SPX expected move. It's another like $1,800 in scans alone. Bonus number four, we're giving you access to the Theo Theta Live portfolio. This just started at the beginning of 2021. This is a premium selling portfolio. This is what I call no holds barred, okay? The premium selling portfolio, which can, of course, be found none other than here. And you can look at it on a day-to-day -day basis. You can say, how's it doing? Well, today it's up about 4000 bucks. okay? And this is, again, it's just a portfolio that everybody has access to. And you can see P&L. You can see everything. As I said, there's no holds barred here at TheoTrade. Uh, we started making nothing, and now we're up about six grand on the day. Okay. This is full disclosure in all trades, opening and closing, hedging positions. Speaking of that, when I say there's full disclosure, you can actually see every single trade. This is the ultimate Theo Theta portfolio. You can even see uh, the VIX trades that I've done in here. There was actually a huge VIX roll that I just did right here. Okay, I was actually executed last week. It's a big one. That's a big one because that basically is our infinity spread. So you can watch me discuss positions, right? And we also have Theo Theta, a small portfolio. If you have $5,000 or $2,000, you know, you're fine. We have a smaller version of a portfolio. And I actually track that on a completely separate brokerage platform. So that is there for you as well. And I want you guys to know that's that's bonus number four. It's fairly new. You get to see everything we do, every trade I do. And this is what the portfolio looks like. We also do a weekly video. I get it. Listen, you can't watch all day, every day. We do a weekly video on the infinity spreads. It takes two seconds to catch up on everything we did. We put this video out each and every Friday. All right. So you can see it just came out May 14th, came out on Friday. Bonus number five, there's a technical analysis toolkit. I'm not the chart guy here. That's Jeff Bierman. As I said, we don't have like, you know, what do they always say? You know, the uh, a jack of all trades is, in, you know, an expert in none. So I'm good in options. I'm good in volatility. I'm not a chart guy. We hired a chart guy. I'm not good in psychology. We hired Steve Miller. Okay. You know, I'm not great in intraday trade when it comes to futures. Great. We brought on Corey Rosenblum and Tony Rago. Market profile. Ugh. Hideous. I don't know anything about it. You know, currencies, commodities, we brought on Blake. All right. Macroeconomics and, you know, fusion, which is fundamentals with technical analysis. We brought on, you know, um, of course, uh, Brandon Young. And then, you know, if we need a geek that just does spreadsheets, we got Matt Williamson. Again, there's something for everybody here, but this is bonus five technical analysis toolkit options, sorry, technical analysis, 101, 201, MACD, timing-based systems, pattern recognition. There are 21 other technical analysis classes. Bonus six, this is none other than Tony Rago. Okay, Tony Rago, intraday NASDAQ futures. This, for those of you that want to day trade, it's part of it here at TheoTrade. It's bonus number six, consistent intraday strategies and setups. That actually is my class, but um, there's high probability intraday trading systems and 11 other day trading style classes. Bonus seven. This actually comes from none other than Steve Miller. One of the classes in here, and I'm serious about this, the five essential building blocks to successful trading. Like write that down. 
because people are going to enroll from this and they're, they're going to forget about it. Watch that class. The five essential building blocks to success, uh, successful trading. I don't care like if you watch any of the classes, obviously you're coming here for maximum returns with infinity spread. Watch that class. Five essential building blocks to successful trading. It's under the mindset portion. It will change the way, it'll change everything you do. It'll not, it's just not about trading, okay? If you give you insights, like it's just stuff that you haven't ever dreamed of. Um, Steve Miller, who actually put together that class, that class originally sold for, for $1,000. Okay. Steve Miller, you know, we were like, please, you know, let us, let us put that class on there. You're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it. It's going to change the way you guys think about the, uh, the markets in general. Steve's been through more trades than any of us could even imagine. Um, he started trading in the uh, early 1970s and was behind screens trading before most people ever even thought of getting in this business. What our members are saying, and I wanted to show you this because this was, uh, before I go any further here, this is March 16th, and this happens to be a 2020 okay, email. So it's March 16th, 2020. It comes from uh, Brian, it says, Don, wow, I wanna say thank you again for what you've taught me in the last two and a half years. I bought into what you taught about risk twist spreads. Risk twist is another word for infinity spread and duration positions and started to trade options almost a year ago. I missed out on the last market move up. But at the moment, my IRA is up 14.8% for the year. Time out. That's March 16th, 2020. It's the most severe crash, okay, since 1929. This guy's actually up 14.8%. What I've invested in Theotrade has been so worth the money. And that comes from Brian, okay? And I just wanted to share that with you. Theotrade includes everything you're going to need to invest in trade. There's classing, there's coaching, there's, you know, email access to the instructors. And again, email us. Like I say, we're not going to shy away. There's a live trading chat room and live trades, indicators and scans. There's mobile access. It's everything you're going to need to succeed. We literally, like Theotrade, built the Netflix for traders. It's $297 for three months. That's it. And I'm just going to throw this out and I'm going to be brief about it. And I'm going to jump right into questions. I don't want to overlook anybody's questions. I promise I will answer every question in here. It's $297 for three months. And everybody always asks, is that a membership? No. It's a one-time payment of $297. Go right now to theotrade.com forward slash profit. Okay. That's P. Okay, as in peanut, R, okay, as in ready, O, okay, and then fit. That's F as in Frank, I, T. So theotrade.com forward slash profit. The reason I mentioned this, everybody always asks me, is it a membership? No, $297 for three months. You go, what do I do? What do I do after three months? After three months, you get to pay $297. By the way, we also threw a money back guarantee in here. Okay, there's no risk for the first 90 days. It's only 90 days. You pay 297 bucks. You're, you know, I don't want to, I don't like to, you know, oh, you need to do this. Okay, we want people here that want to learn this business. We give you no risk to do it. There are, you know, over 6,400 uh, clients now on Theo Trade. And, you know, how do you get to those numbers? You do what's right by people. I and mean, we built this as a platform for everybody to come to learn. And we support multiple brokerage platforms now. You know, we're not just Thinkorswim. We're not just Tastyworks. Multiple bro brokerage platforms. Everything that you're going to need in this business, okay, um, is available. And again, text and push notifications. Go to theotrade.com forward slash profit. I'll just throw this up here one more time. It's a total riskless deal. 90-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied in the next 90 days, and it is, you know, it's for 90 days, just uh, shoot us an email. You don't even have to call us. Don't call us, okay? Just email us. Get your full, you know, money back. Um, money get. Uh, there's no stipulations. We used to have stipulations like trade with us, do this, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. There's no stipulations whatsoever. You don't have to make an excuse when you email us. There's no questions. I just I want you to understand something. We want you to be happy here. Okay, that is why we do this. And if you're not happy, we don't want you to be like upset and be like, man, I wish I could get my money back. No, no, no. You can, <laughs> and we'd rather you get your money back. Okay. And if you do receive a refund, you get to keep the whole start guide on us. Okay. Uh, again, we give you 30 riskless spots. There is one caveat here. We only do 30 riskless spots. It's for the first 30 people um, that, um, that enroll. 
The reason we do that, obviously to incentivize you. But the other reason we do that, we give you unlimited email mentoring, which is, it's a little torturous to us. We have over 6,400 clients. We have eight full-time instructors and we do answer three to four hours of email, each of us every single day. You can send us your trades. We can bounce ideas off of us. Again, today, and I wanna make this clear, there are 30 spots on the Theotrade riskless deal. I mean, 30 of you will actually get a full-blown 90-day money-back guarantee. I will read off your names as you enroll. That $297 has never been available with maximum returns with infinity spreads, plus all the bonuses, but the big bonus is you're getting the Theo Theta portfolio. And uh, again, it's no stipulations, money back guarantee. So uh, this is everything that's yours today. And again, go to theotrade.com forward slash profit. You know what? I'm going to pop over there really quick right now. So um, everybody sees where I am at. Okay. It's theotrade.com forward slash profit. Just click add to cart. Again, there are 30 riskless spots left. It says the maximum returns of infinity spread courses. That includes volatility course, backspreads course. But as you guys start to read through here, you know, obviously it includes everything, all the different bonuses, okay, in here. Anyway, it's, uh, it is fairly in depth, but click add to cart. And the reason I'm bringing you to this site, when you click uh, the add to cart, what I do want you to see a couple things. Number one, phone number. See right there, it says phone number, put a phone number in. It automatically enrolls you for the text messaging. Um, number, number two on this form, okay. The second thing that's important on the form, it's a single payment of uh, 297 or two payments. You, you can break it up if you want, but it's a single payment of 297. That's the only reason I threw this up here. It's not a membership, okay? We, we think that people are a little intimidated by memberships these days, and I don't blame you, and I don't really like to sign up for a lot of memberships like that, so that's why we did it. Anyway, it's theotrade.com forward slash profit. It's completely riskless for the uh, for the 90 days. Just to go through everything in here, maximum returns with infinity spreads. It includes back spreads, volatility crash course. Bonus one is a start guide. Bonus two is access to every class we've ever done. By the way, there's new classes coming too. Bonus three is the membership to the chat room. It gives you full access to the chat room. And by the way, in the chat room, you can chat. Okay, this is all of our clients in here. There's probably oh, anywhere from seven to 800 people in here at any given point in time, okay? You know, some of the usual suspects. We've had a lot of clients in there, I mean, for, for years. Um, bonus four, the Theo Theta Live portfolio. This is a premium selling portfolio, okay? Then we actually have bonus number five, technical analysis toolkit. Bonus six, day trade, tre I can't say that one, day trading treasure, treasure chest. See, that went five times fast. Bonus number seven, the mindset mastery. And I actually put a huge amount of weight into the um, this, uh, this bonus number seven. That's the five essential building blocks to trading. As I'm telling you, I was in the business for oh, 19 years before actually listening to that particular course. I was like, holy crap. Every, every crazy thing that's ever happened to you in the business is incorporated into the five essential building blocks. Every emotion that you're gonna have in here, okay? you'll get a lot out of it. So you just go to theotrade.com forward slash profit. You can also follow me to that link for the auto expected move indicator. Uh, I am now going to, I'm gonna answer some questions uh, again, as we kind of cruise along over here. Somebody again said, um, what's, the, uh, what's the link? And again, I think it's, it's in your chat room there, but it's theotrade.com forward slash profit. You can literally just grab the link out of the Zoom, uh, Zoom chat room. As I said, I'm gonna answer a, uh, a bunch of questions that have come up. Let me get to some more, apologize. Let me get to some more generalized questions here before I go any further. Okay, I have a few generalized questions. By the way, I like this one. Um, one of the things, um, by the way, yes, you can absolutely do this in a traditional IRA account. I'll come back to that in a minute. This one said, I uh, wanted to drop you a quick email. I think the class is wonderful. I've been you know, stretched each session, not beyond my ability. After each session, I watch the recording and do the homework. Uh, I feel each week that my knowledge of options trading is growing steadily and rapidly. Obviously can't speak for my classmates, but it's going very well for me. Thanks for the great instruction. This comes from Jeff. Um, this comes from Todd Summerall. There's a reason by the way, I'm throwing this email in here. Um, Todd said, don't know if you remember me, but I emailed you a few weeks ago and told you my delta was positive a couple thou or more. Basically, what this guy told me, 
he was hugely bullish. Okay, you told me to smash it or I was gonna be in trouble. So I smashed it, meaning I told him to take off part of the position, huge amount of the position. He saved my account, just wanna thank you. Before Theo, I had no clue about Portfolio Delta. Big hearty thanks to you and all of your uh, team. My finances would have been a goner without your advice. The reason I throw this up here, I like this. You can use this if you want. I do want to use it. The reason I throw that up there, I want you guys to understand. When you email us, you can email us with direct questions. Most of us had extensive experience in the brokerage world. We know how to answer trade and trade-related questions. This, this ain't, again, you know, we're, we're not a 22-year-old kid that just got in the business and made some you know, money crypto trading and, you know, got the Ferrari in the background. Okay. Uh, I, I don't mind saying I've had a, a pretty, pretty good career in this business. Uh, some of the capital I've made in this, in this world is from fact, I took a company public. Most of it though, is actually from trading. I grew up around traders. You know, I, I don't, uh, by the way, I'm not into the uh, sports cars and stuff. So you're not going to see me like sitting in front of the, uh, the sports cars. I have a Tesla. That's, it's all I'll ever, ever drive again. Anyway, to answer some of your questions, and I'm going to get really, really specific in here. What do you need to get started? You need a laptop and you need an internet connection. I'll tell you what, you don't even need a laptop today. It's so good. Like the mobile applications are so good. I, you know, you could just use a phone. You can watch our videos on here. I think you would probably want a tablet if you're going to do it long-term. The next thing is this is not a membership. We don't auto renew or auto bill you again. Like, after three months, we say, do you like what you see here? Yes, I love it. Good. Do it again for another three months. That, it's not as good for our business, but it's good for you. And I hope you guys appreciate that. We're still, you know, we've still been able to build this firm to over 6,000 people, you know, in terms of encompassing all of the, all the members at Theotrade. And yet we did it. I call them all the members at Theotrade, but we did it without actually a membership. Okay? You just re-enroll and re-enroll. Um, Number three, we're now providing Theo Theta weekly video updates so you can follow all the moves that we make. Um, everything, that, everything I do in my account, you can see it, right? Um, the next thing on the, uh, the docket over here is we archive everything. I understand that, you know, and I really do, I understand that you can't watch everything that we've ever done, you know? But you can go back through the archive and actually check on some of it and speed it up. In fact, we give you access to Theotrade Mobile when I say Theotrade mobile, yes, we literally have, okay, you know, a Theotrade mobile application. Can you see it? Oh, you can. You can actually see Theotrade mobile. So it has to see me before it can actually log in over here. But um, on the Theotrade mobile application, you can log in, you can download everything and view it at your leisure. You can even view stuff uh, effectively while you are offline. So that is incredibly important to us. Um, by the way, mobile application, just so you guys know, when you're on the mobile application, it can have push notifications. Again, this is kind of cool because I'm on here. You can do push notifications, which means you don't even, have, if you can't get text messages because you're in Canada or like somebody just came in and said, I'm from Singapore, fine. You just get push notifications over the mobile device. Add your cell phone number. We can get text messages to you. But if you can't get text messages, you get push notifications. Again, theotrade.com forward slash profit. You can email us anytime, receive a response within 24 hours. One thing, one just one little caveat. I hope it's okay with you guys. You can't email us on a Friday afternoon with 20 minutes to go to the close and be like, I need help. We'll grab the emails as fast as we can. But, you know, the honest truth is we trade. You know, we trade and we're trading and it's, you know, I have a tendency to look at most of the emails before the market opens or after the market closes, like during the trading day, we're rocking, we're executing and I'm executing for different portfolios that we monitor here at Theotrade. Number eight, you're going to gain access to every course that we've ever done in the previous five years, classes, coaching, everything is searchable, everything is archived. We have an archive on, on every genre of trade you can imagine. Um, next thing. Variations of all the trades can be done in traditional IRAs, no problem, retirement accounts with as little as $2,000. Uh, and we at Theotrade, we can help you get approved for options at several major brokerage firms. People come to us all the time, they go, my brokerage firm won't let me do that. And my answer to you for the, is this, is you got the wrong brokerage firm because we'll, we'll help you get approved. And we also have great relationship with many of the brokerage firms. There are 30 riskless trade spots available. That means the riskless trade spots, a 90 day money back guarantee. 
um, get results, take action. There's, there's just no risk to you in doing it. And you get to go through, of course, uh, an incredible, incredible number of courses. So I'm going to answer some of your more generalized questions. Again, it's theotrade.com forward slash profit. I'll just throw this up here for a moment. Um, there's a few, uh, a few names that have already come through. When I say a few names, just so you guys are aware, uh, I'm going to read off. I will read off the names of the first uh, 30 individuals that enroll and are enrolled for the riskless, uh, the riskless 90 days. So it takes me about five to seven minutes before I will see your name populate here. But um, starting with the following here, uh, Roxanne D from Virginia, David F from Florida, David B from Texas, um, friend, uh, friends, is it, I'm going to butcher this. Uh, Francis from Florida. Did I butcher that? I apologize. Okay. David C from Colorado, Bruce T from Illinois, um, Carol V from Florida, Donald J from Maryland, Ken uh, M from Nevada, Fred M from California, Anthony M from Arizona. And again, it'll take me about five to seven minutes before I see some of the other uh, questions actually pop through here. So, um, oh, I like, I like some of the questions that have come in. First question. <clears throat> Can I use this with a traditional IRA account at TD Ameritrade? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes. Because almost every trade that I did, now you do have to be spread approved in that IRA, but you should be able to do that, no problem. Like seriously, that's that's pretty straightforward in there. Um, I like this next one that came in too. I usually close winners too soon and let losers run. Uh, well, in this particular strategy, okay, your loss is the strategy not working. So in, in the maximum returns with infinity spreads, Okay, and I stress to you, a loss is par for the course. Like what happens in this strategy is you lose 50 cents, 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 you make $10. It's just how it goes. You know, you can have a period of like, it's dull, it's dull, it's dull, it's dull, it's dull, it's dull smack the cover off the ball. That's not that exciting, but you have to go through a couple of cycles. And I'm going to tell you right now, you only have to hit one of these, okay, to make it worth your while. And in the last couple of years, I've never hit anything like, I mean, 2020 was incredible. We were making money on infinity spreads literally from January all the way through to October in 2020. And the same conditions have now arisen. Like there was actually a video I did the other day. You're like, you know, and the video was get ready for a big market move. And we literally, we snapped, you know, three days later where we're priming again. In fact, I put some strategies on today for uh, substantial market moves. So I like what somebody actually asked in here too. Will this allow me to scale up, generate a full-time income? <clears throat> the infinity spread itself, okay, is an outlier strategy, but if you would wanted to sell premium, absolutely unequivocally, yes, you're selling premium and you're using the infinity spread to mitigate exposure and to have that explosive return if the marketplace uh, moves substantially. But, you know, uh, again, the, the answer is unequivocally yes. Um, we'll just find, you know, that perfect genre of trade specifically for you. That's a big portion of what we do here at uh, TheoTrade as well. So, oh, I like this. Uh, unable to watch and trade uh, while at my day job. Uh, yeah, no, you can absolutely trade this. <clears throat> so we have portfolios that differ. I mean, there's stuff that we do that's very, very active. Clearly, that's not you if you have a day job. There's stuff that we do that is about as inactive as it gets. Maximum returns with infinity spreads, that's that's your strategy. I mean, it's this is about as hands-off as a strategy gets, bar none. The only other one that's this hands-off would be Ultima, which is selling premium, which you can explore that class as well. You have access to all the classes. And I want you guys to know that, like, you know, you will never pigeonhole you here. You know, like you bought this class, that's all you get. You get the full Monty. Maybe you don't want the full Monty. Maybe it's overwhelming to you. So then you narrow down your scope, okay, but you get access to everything. Um, <clears throat> ooh, great question. When do you do a uh, risk twist spread versus a VIX volatility spread? Ah, depends on the skew. It's a great question. Depends on the skew, depends on the volatility. And right now, you can't do a risk twist spread. Now you must use VIX volatility spread. It's actually what that, it's in the course. That's one of the things I'm not supposed to give away. <laughs> That's part of the criteria. It actually says, you know, if this, then do this. Okay. If the conditions are X, 
use this strategy. If the conditions are why, use this strategy. Okay. Um, just moving over here. Oh, does the uh, auto expected move work in shorter time frames? Um, yes, it does. However, there's a course that you'll want to watch on auto expected moves. There's a reason it's set for weekly. You should use it in the context it was designed for. And what that in effect means is the weekly expected move holds the most weight. You can trade though intraday with the weeklies, okay? Um, all right, somebody said, Don, when did you put on these, uh, these two trades? Can be used now? Yeah, actually um, here. So again, I'm just glancing at the marketplace. Um, let's actually snap back over here to the Theo Theta portfolio. In the Theo Theta portfolio, you can see a VIX trade in here. And the VIX trade was rolled on 5.12. It's the last time I actually put the trade on. So it is, uh, it is recent, people. It is very, very recent, OK? Um, all right, I'm just making sure there's a couple more names coming through. <clears throat> All right, next uh, next question on here. And uh, and again, there was another question that popped in here. Dun, dun, okay. Make sure everybody's good on that front. Okay. So do you choose your spots for infinity trades? You usually place them year round. Um, generally speaking, when the conditions are correct for them, they are just placed. And I want to say blindly, there's definitely, you know, appropriate conditions to be able to put them on. Um, inherently, you want to buy volatility when volatility is lower, but you may never get the opportunity for volatility necessarily to be lower. So there are definitely prime conditions to be able to put the infinity spread on. And we try to time some of the prime conditions for, you know, that to happen. Uh, nevertheless, okay, you know, we'll take what we can get, but the strategy is on as long as the overall market conditions are, uh, are proper out there. And that is, that is really important to me. So again, somebody had said, did you uh, put on these two trades? Can they be used now? Stated it should be done for the July timeframe. Listen, the, the question that comes in there about like the July timeframe that one is not going to be fair game. You, that's when you, you need to go through the course because the time frame of the strategy, and you can look at my you know, account and you're like, oh, look, man, he's got a July strategy on there for the VIX. Yes. However, my VIX trade that's for July is expressly designed, okay, expressly designed to mitigate exposure of some options I already have on. Meaning that like my trade is by design for July. Uh, and I think it's, it's of critical importance in there. By the way, somebody was asking where to find the auto expected move indicator. It is uh, theotrade.com forward slash profit. Just come down towards the bottom of the page over here, auto expected move indicator for, uh, for thinkorswim, okay? By the way, when you are enrolled for Theotrade, when you're enrolled for Theotrade, there's, there's no need to have to go onto this page to download it. All the indicators, everything we have is found on the Theotrade uh, site. So um, yeah, by the way, a couple more names came through and then I'm gonna answer some more questions here on the, uh, on the side. Um, Nate M from Minnesota, Sergey M from California, Robert P from Colorado, Randall S from California. I know a ton more people are enrolling right now. I'm just, I am. Uh, I want to sit here and actually focus and answer some questions. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. If you need to get a hold of me after today, just support at theotrade.com. Again, go to theotrade.com forward slash profit. Enroll now. We still have a, uh, well, there's actually a ton of names still coming through. So I apologize for this. Fred A from Kansas. And, and literally names are coming through as I am uh, wrapping up over here. But Fred A from Kansas, you're, uh, you're good. We still have a handful of spots left on the, um, on the 30 riskless spots. So by all means, uh, enroll now. There's absolutely no risk to you. I want to thank everybody for, uh, for tuning in and uh, sticking with us here. I know I ran a little bit over in time. Lots of questions in here. Have a, uh, have a great afternoon, everybody. Bye-bye.